impressive, dude. <laughs> impressive. Sometimes we, we can't figure out that your headphones are plugged in, but yet you were able to be on two stream yards at one time. No, I couldn't hear the second. I couldn't hear when y'all when you exit out of the other one, I yeah. couldn't hear nothing. So I you know, had to sign up on the other one because I was the only one over there, and like, yeah, I was just out. We're looking like the uh, Miami Heat yesterday during the third quarter to start this show. Dude, I just want you to know that the third quarter is something special. These guys. Why does this happen though? Like, why is this a thing? This isn't well, the first year this happened. Is that supposed Achilles heel? No, it's is not the third here. quarter. His Achilles heel. It's not the. It's not. It's not the. Um, it's not. This has been going on for years, right? Third quarter was not invented this year or last year or even when Jimmy got here. We've had third quarter for quite some time, and I can't explain it, right? I don't know what it is. Earlier this year, the third quarter had spread to other quarters. Sometimes that third quarter would be on in the first quarter. Uh, For a couple of games, that third quarter was in the fourth quarter where they had big leads, and then that's what happened against uh, Detroit. Yep. Right? So – I, I don't know what I think this happens in basketball. I and and I don't want to just put it on the heat. But Vlad, you watch enough basketball. Teams get feeling good. They making threes. They doing all this stuff, right? And then all of a sudden that goes cold and they forget how to play basketball because they've been playing a certain way that whole game. Well, the coach ain't saying, you know, guess what? When y'all making all these threes. And and everybody's playing ISO ball and making shots. The coach ain't saying let's get back to, you know, what we do, and move the ball. It's after the other team scored ten points. He called a timeout and said, "Guys, let's get back to what we do." So Sometimes, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's so, like subconsciously in the back of the mind they forget how to play, and then it's it's like they need something just to because they because they make shots. See, right? Snap. What the, kills snap them back into it? What kills basketball and lets a lot of these teams in it is when you have a guy or two guys that are hot. For example, the Boston Celtics, they shoot so many threes. What are they going to do when they have a cold night shooting the three? And what they revert to is Jalen Brown and um, his running mate, uh, Tatum, Tatum uh, going iso ball. They quit running offense when they stop making threes and they go iso ball. And so every time a team beats them, you go to poor three-point shooting and they shoot about 40 of them or 50 of them a game, right? And then you go, the only two guys scoring is Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, right? And so that happens to everybody. It's not just the heat. But here's the problem. When they go cold, when you don't have your three point shooters Ice in there, ball, and kudos and kudos to um, I want to say kudos to 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 uh, Scary Terry and to Caleb, right? Yeah, they kept that. They kept them because they there was a couple. Them. They they kept it right, and and that's you wasn't expecting. I mean, Scary Terry made some threes. Now you like oh right? yeah, and you know who I got to give props to uh to Leroy. And I take shots at him. Thomas Bryant all the time played Bryant, very man. well. <laughs> He's been having some yeah. good minutes. Like, too. let me tell you this: if you get double digits from your backup center while yeah. your starting center gave you twenty, yep, right. That's yeah, thir- thirty points from that position. That's thirty points from your that from the five position. Nobody's giving you thirty points from the five position unless you're Embiid or Jokic. So the fact right. that they combined to do that that was great. What yeah. also hurt the Heat was Dunk back acting up on him and not yeah. him not being able to play right. because. Like right. you said, the three-point shooting, Dunk didn't start off well, but we're talking about Duncan Robinson. If he was able to play, that game might have been a you little know bit gonna have, You yeah. know Dunk's going to have a stretch where he go four, six, four, five. He always has that stretch during the game, and that's why they tell him keep shooting, and he's gotten to the point where he keeps shooting. Um, but, yeah, it, it's it's that third quarter. Uh, they come out. They they just didn't look good, and, and I always, like, I try to avoid this because there's other reasons behind it. But they'll say, we just didn't make shots. And I would always say, that's because you took poor shots. Right? No, they just missed shots. They, you, yeah, so, all right. 
they just missed shots yesterday. They wasn't poor shots. They just missed some shots. But and and, and, and can I just say this, dude? If they miss one more bunny, I'm gonna lose <laughs> my mind, bro. I'm gonna lose my mind. What is? I think it was Thomas Bryan who like went between his legs around his back and up and underneath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you two inches from the rim, dude. But I love how Marcos is burying the lead here. Real quick, let me give you a stat. Do you know what the Miami Heat's record is against top ten teams? One and nine. Three. Three. And nineteen. Okay. We we had this we had this discussion. We yeah, had this conversation. Your... Um and, and this is the opposite because normally in years past, they beat the good teams and lose to the bad teams. Right? They play better on at home than they do on the road. They're a better road team than they are at home, which is crazy. I this it's just one of those like I can't explain it. Maybe it's because they play all the bad teams on the road. I don't know. But here's the deal. If you're going to compare your team to the other teams, you would at least like to see them win so that you can get into the playoffs and think we got a chance. Like, I'm not the guy, and, and we have this conversation, you know, me and Tobin all the time. I'm not the guy that's just going to have faith in something that I've never seen. They don't, they, they, they haven't even looked good against the good teams, right? Yeah, true. They haven't even looked good. So, um. I, I like for for us to just assume that oh we're gonna turn it up and we're gonna get it right okay now is and, and and let's be clear now against Philadelphia was not a bigger moment with Indiana losing mm. to make a stand without Embiid that what is there was there a bigger moment in the year that you could gain some ground after that victory in Detroit, that game-winning three by Bam, you go into this game, and then you're looking at the record. I was like, oh, snap. Both, both right. teams are tied. That's what I'm saying. Both teams are tied, yeah. and Indy lost last night. Right. So this was a prime opportunity for so, you to – and if you win this game, you automatically got the tie break over Philadelphia. So you don't right. got to worry about them anymore. Right. So let me ask if, you this. Yeah, that's a bad loss. And and, and I would probably ask Tobin this. Tobino? When is when is no yeah, I go with El Tobino. He's the only one. I'll take it. When is the moment big enough for everybody to show up? Well, you that, know, that's that's, that's, that's my something. that's my question because we keep saying, okay, yep. it's this time they're gonna show up. It's this time they're gonna show up. It's this time. Was there a bigger moment in the year? Well, it couldn't be a big moment because Jimmy didn't play last night. Don't, I'll tell you what, again, fourth quarter of they the, didn't lose the that game. game. They didn't lose that no, game. No, I'm not Jimmy saying that play. because they lost because of Jimmy not. But remember, we, I, yesterday I was like, Jimmy missed Sunday's game against Detroit because it was of a back foot to back. Yeah. And so we all thought it was a back to back. So he's going to play the game against Philly because you know they expect that. So they expected it to be a little closer or a little tougher, and he didn't play. Right. So. So when when is the moment big enough? Hmm. Right? I don't know. And, and you say, and and, and guess what? Let me ask you this, Marcos. Yeah. Why don't you have the same amount of vitriol? Is that the word? I like that. I you have so. yes. yeah. that you have towards the Dolphins when mm -hmm. they don't beat the good teams. Well, it is a similar issue. They're both no, bad no, 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 no. I, that's not, that yesterday. was not the question. Here's your two answers. We did this yesterday. Two answers. Number one, I got history on my side. Number two, I have that guy. But okay, but history don't win today. Correct, it doesn't. But you're asking why am I not hitting the panic button? And the I reason say, is, I didn't say you got to hit the panic button. I'm not hitting the panic I, button. I don't have. I'm just saying with, all towards with, yeah. With, why well, you don't have the same vigor for here, you don't have the play. same vigor for the heat uh, for it. the heat. Watch it with they everything. Oh, vigor is a with, good word. All with right. everything all that right. I have heard, yeah. or everything that I was told. Yes. At what point are we just going to look at this team and say, I hope, but I haven't seen it? Because yeah, that's where I am. Mm. He wants you to have the same smoke for the Heat that you would have for the Dolphins. You know what? When you're gutless like Leroy is, sometimes this happens. Oh! You, know, sometimes you forget. El Tobino! <laughs> Here we you go! You forget that easy. You know, it's, it's faith. 
you got to have faith. I'm not sure. I think it was. Well, uh, I know that was George Michael. The philosopher George Michael yes. said, you got to have faith. Well, you know, hey, somebody have, you didn't have listen. faith in. Yeah. You know, somebody listen. you didn't have faith in. Who's that? And he got his revenge back. Oh, Kyle Lowry. Lowry. Sixteen on you guys. He just pulled up. He pulled up. It was was a sweet sixteen. Hey, he pulled up from a spot I couldn't even see the three point line. I don't think he even knew where that spot was. He, I don't think he realized how far away was. But he ain't touched no rim. (laughs) He, it was straight, nothing but net. And 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 Vlad, I'm I'm not. Sweet, I'm just I'm not one of the wait. Vlad, let me tell you this. I don't have, I'm not one of those people that have faith in what happened. I'm one of those people that have faith in reality and what I see. And do they have the ability to do all the things we talk about? Yes. But after all these games and all these stretches, when they say, Okay, we know this is the important time of the year. We got to turn it up. We got to do this. We got to do that. And then probably the biggest moment of the year where you can control Mm. so many things and you got the lead coming out of the half. How am I supposed to take this? Am I just supposed to say, don't worry about it. It's just one game. No. With everything that everybody's telling me. No. Here's how you take it. You Like you said, you you take things in reality, but fans are fans. It's short for fanatics, so they're it. gonna look at it as, eh, we were in the same situation last year. No, oh, hey, you, you, can I just say this? I'm gonna say this, or you and can I'm be, be the one saying that. I'm gonna that. be very clear. The Heat do not want to be in the play-in. We it's all don't want to be. Nobody it's wants a crap to be in the shoot. You right. don't realize how much of a crap shoot that y'all don't see. Y'all looking at the Heat. Oh, they played in the play and they went to the finals. Let me break it down to you. You do realize that they came like five minutes from losing that second playoff yes, game. The Bulls were up in the late in the fourth. I, I don't want to play that game. He said, she said. You okay, see? you taking El chances. With, wait, El Tobino. You taking chances. With basketball players, that same five minutes, somebody could get hot, your season over. I or don't want to risk it. You can, The f- opening minute, your star player can twist an ankle. Like a game seven. Look, like the Celtics. This is cute. You guys you guys have a lot of these imaginary scenarios. It's not imaginary. Leroy, I don't think you, you have faith in the team because I don't think you know what faith means. What I, you want is definitive proof in front of you, and you're going to react off of those statistics. Faith. You don't react off of those. Statistics. Wait a minute. You yeah. throw statistics at me all the time. Stop it. They're Stop never it. real. <laughs> They're never real. Stop. You see this? Here, here, Faith this is look, look. strong belief. Lad, this is the definition. We here we go. Statistics you guys, only El work Tavino. to prove his point. They never do, though. They never, my points are never accepted, no matter the stats. Except for the fact that Tua doesn't run. But, oh, my God, you don't need stats. Did, you, listen, well, Lua, said, uh, Leroy, Leroy, they're coming Leroy at you. They're coming well, at you. With this this that. Leroy didn't have us going to the finals. You're right. I'm telling you. you You're have right. Faith. No, nobody wants to be in the play, Jamie. But they said that you didn't – Game Boy 305 said you didn't have you didn't have them going to the finals last You're year. Right. No You're right. You're right. Because I thought I hadn't seen enough good basketball to be able to go on that limp. That's so then Leroy, happened. can they not you see this? Listen, we got to play devil's advocate. Yes, yes. Leroy. Can Mark, so can El Tobino and the rest of the Heat fans think that they've seen the same thing happen last year and maybe they were starting to play a little bit better? Because Listen, they were just on a, what, six, seven game winning streak? Not yes. too long ago. Yes. And some of the loss, the bad loss was Washington. The yes. loss to Washington was concerning because it was I, like I took all that into yeah, I took all that into consideration. Because I took the losses from Dallas and OKC. I looked, I was like, damn, you were beating OKC and Dallas, yeah, yeah. you close I, game. Vlad, but that I loss to Washington was bad. But can they now feel if they get Jimmy healthy, mm-hmm. Ireland comes back. Mm-hmm. You see, Terry has Terry has gotten comfortable in his role right now. Yeah. He's starting, yes. to, he's he's starting started, to get a little bit scary, like scary starting, Terry. He's, start, he's starting to be aggressive. and Caleb know. is back healthy now because yeah. I look, yes, yep. man, that was Caleb yesterday. Yeah. So yeah. even in some of these losses, and this, oh my God, Spoke got me. Jesus. Tell you, man. Spoke gets me with, because even enough. these losses, I can find positive in the 
I, so you can find I, positives in I these started the, I started the game. I started the show off with a yeah. positive. What so then I saw out of those guys. Here's that's the why problem. The, he, Let me throw the other thing that concerns me. Right? They had a short roster. Right? When everybody comes back, now you got to figure that out too. Do you have time to figure that out? You see what I'm saying? So Jimmy comes back. Dunks comes back. Then I don't know what, what if, when Tyler comes back, okay? You got those guys. How are you going to incorporate them? Because the baddest defensive unit I saw was that unit that was in the fourth quarter, right? And you know what's going to happen. Two of those guys are going to go to the end of the bench and never play again. So there's a lot that goes into what why I just have, you know, this uncomfortable feeling, not just what I'm seeing on the court, but also seeing a unit that you ain't going to see when everybody comes back. Those five guys ain't going to be on the floor together. And so while you're trying to figure that out, we seeing something that worked last night that we ain't going to see again because all the other guys are going to get incorporated into the game. Now, do they have time for that with, what, 14 games left? You see I what I'm saying? There's a, lot, there's a lot of this that's going into this that everybody just assumes, oh, we just throw these guys into the workout. And just because I won't do that, and I've asked questions over and over again, why does this team look better when they're shorthanded? These headlines brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Super Center. Why buy your truck at a car store, Palmetto Ford? We know trucks. You got me using black truck again. Dang. Will the Miami Heats have enough time to get it together? Will Leroy find his guts? Find out on Spring Break Edition of the Tobin and Leroy Show. That was you. <coughs>
Hey, let me just say, that's good producer. <laughs> Welcome back to the spring break edition of the Tobin and Leroy show. Gentlemen, gentlemen, and Jay Fig. We have a very, very special show on our hands. Uh, yesterday, if you joined us, you heard as we had a lot of things going on, a lot of which will be going on today. We got another family four pack of Marlins tickets to give away. Got an opportunity for you to see Sting, not the wrestler. Uh, and in addition to that, yesterday we did MTV Spring Break trivia. I was We're actually going to go ahead and, yeah, Leroy got all his, his timeline messed up, but you know, it's okay. Because uh, I get the feeling uh, this one's going to gonna work a little bit better for all parties. As today, we are embracing the month of March. What happens in March? Madness. Brackets. Today, we will have the bracket of all brackets as we determine who is the GOAT of GOAT athletes. We have a number of people in which we will pit together. We have your LeBron versus Jordan. But it goes a little bit further than that. We have your Ronaldo versus Messi. We have your Federer versus Serena. We have quite a bit of different options for you to choose from. That's what we'll get in the later hours. We've got damages done. And most importantly, of this hour, to continue our heat talk, coming up next, we have Tommy Tig who will be joining us on the phone. Tommy Tig, Marcus, we got to go to break. But I got I got to go get our boss who forgot his his card. Listen to this, Leroy. Oh no, we, we got to go to break right now because I got to go get Glenn from downstairs because Glenn doesn't have his card. Unacceptable, dude. This is why minus one to our boy. Minus Wait, one. So tell boy. no 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 no. Here's what you tell him to do. Yeah. Tell him to walk to through the uh downstairs. Food court, go up right? the stairs. Go, the stairs. go up the stairs and knock on the back door. Yeah, right that's there. I, that's two steps away. Yep, it's the stairs that gets them. Though that's what I it is. Hate. You think Lynn come up with the stairs? All right. When we come back, Tommy <laughs> Ty will be Do you have to get your card? Yeah, true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Tommy Ty, when we come back.
Welcome back to uh, Spring Break edition of the Tobin and Leroy Show. Uh, we started the show off talking about the Miami Heat. And we're going to go ahead and continue that trend as we head over to the Toyota of Hollywood Hotline. Shop hundreds of Toyotas indoors in one of America's late, largest showrooms at Toyota of Hollywood on 441 between Hollywood and Sheridan the man who we have on the line now with over 40 years of radio broadcasting experience, the veteran Tommy Tig, who you can catch on the Heat Radio Network. You can catch him co-hosting the pregame, halftime, and post-game shows, as well as Saturdays. All right, this is important. Weekly. 10 to 2. I'm sorry, 10 to 12. But I don't want to give Tommy more work than he wants. 10 to 12. You can catch him on Heat Weekly every Saturday. Tommy, thank you for joining us, sir. My pleasure, guys. Thank you for having me. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention on this is uh, just how much of a, a special place in my heart Tommy Tig has, for sure. Love working with Tommy, definitely. I'm uh, completely honored to have the opportunity to ask him some Miami Heat questions, and we'll get right into it right now. We've seen it multiple times over the past couple of games. Tommy, please tell me you know something I don't. Has Bam Adebayo unleashed a three-point shot, or will this disappear in the playoffs? Seems to be that way, doesn't it? And I kind of was one of the most surprised people, to be honest with you. Not that he would just take the one, because he's done that every once in a while. But then when he takes two in a row, and then three in a row, and now it looks like uh, you know he's becoming a resident sharpshooter of the squad with Duncan <laughs> Robinson. Who, who's to say? The way that I look at it, you practice something like that. As long as he's taking one or two in a game that could surprise the other team and help out Miami, I'm all for it, to be honest with you, because, you know, they've got to get off and somehow, and if they have to do it with number 13, chucking up threes from the top of the circle, I'm okay with it. To be honest with you, I'd rather see other ways to go through uh, the way that they'd have to play offensively. But if Bam is going to be your guy taking three-pointers to help things get in the right direction, I guess I'm okay with it. Tommy, we've, um, you know, Watch this team, you know, I've watched them for a while. And, and this year it's been up and down with the injuries and stuff like that. But that unit that played in the fourth quarter, was that some of the best defense you've seen he play all year? Um, with Caleb and Thomas Bryant and Terry and who else? Hi, Jaime Hodkes and Bam. Yeah, I would think, to, Leroy, to be honest with you, it was pretty good. I think it's the most out of what they did was that they were just out there running around and flying to the ball as best as possible. And I think Philadelphia thought they had won the game after they had that stretch in the third quarter. The Heat looked tired. They had played the night before. The next thing you know is, okay, they got more games to go on this road trip. They're playing without a lot of guys in the lineup like Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero. Maybe they're just going to roll over. I think that's the mental thought of it that the Sixers had. But you're right. Defensively, they played extremely well. Some of the best defense over the course of the season, I would think it's up there. But I think it was right. because they were desperate, had to get to that position, or else they were going to lose this game by 30. But I give those guys an awful lot of credit. I, I, I hear different things already this morning, uh, not only on the radio, but on the Internet, that uh, you should have got Bam back in the game faster, or you, you should have done this with uh, Rozier. The way I look at it is, when you've got guys playing well, whatever the sport might be, you got to keep riding the guys that you had out there that got you back into the game. So I had no problem with how Spo put his roster out there in the fourth quarter. But I'm with you. I saw some really aggressive defense in that game, led by a lot of different guys that you really don't expect to do that. Yesterday we saw a few moments late with Jaime Jaquez, the uh, no call, if you will against Kelly Oubre, where he turned the ball over there, and the three-point shot that, honestly, it was the worst possible scenario. Not the fact that he missed it. The fact that he missed it and it went out of bounds really was one of the worst possible scenarios in that moment. Has he hit a rookie wall? Has a league found out how Jaime Jaquez plays? Are they up to his tricks? Or is this something that, you know, it's just unfortunate series events, and you look forward to him getting back to what we saw earlier on in the season? Well, I look at it this way, Marcos. I'm going to take the latter, to be honest with you. I haven't seen much of a rookie wall out of him the entire season. He's played 
year. So if he was going to have that rookie wall, I thought he was going to have it a few months ago, more than he would have it at the end of the season. Look at it realistically. Uh, Leroy, you play professional football. There's a point in the season you get tired, whatever that is, mentally, physically, whatever it is. You're coming up on game number 70 of the season. I think that's what your team is looking at right now. As you get down to the end, you're looking towards the playoffs. They haven't clinched anything yet, obviously. But Jaime Hawkins, I think, is still playing decent basketball on both ends of the floor. I just think with all the switches in the rotation and different lineups they've had from time to time, he's still trying to adjust every once in a while to what exactly they want him to do. I think he's still running at a breakneck pace when he has the ball in his hands. Nothing bothers him offensively. He's, he didn't come into the league being a great shooter in the first place. So if you're thinking that, oh, gee, that's a bad shot that he's going to take, he's going to take three-point shots. He's been doing it all season long. That's not his you know, strength of his game. I, I think that he still has a lot to bring to the table, of course, in the future. But for a rookie playing the way that he has over the course of the year, I'm fine with the way that he's playing right now. A few questionable shots here or there, that's just the way it happens every once in a while. But I still think you're going to see a lot of decent basketball from Jaime down the stretch. Tommy, where, where, uh, you know, I'm one of those people that, and, and this is the sports player in me, not the fan. Okay. I'm one of those people that I need to see something that would give me faith that this team is, is going to play more consistent and turn it around. And I tried the health, the, the health portion of it. They're going to make shots. They're going to do this, but, um, when you watch this team, because you're closer than I am, what are the things that you see that would give you an indication that, okay, all we need is some health and these things will get turned around or all we need is this and these things are going to get turned around? Um, because as of right now, I'm having a hard time with the injuries and and and, and the different rosters of trying to figure out how are they going to get this going in the right direction? Well, I'll put it to you this way, Leroy. I look at it this way. I think back to the 2000 Ravens who couldn't play anything on offense. Oh, and some of those yeah. giant teams that were led defensively. One side of the ball was so dominant, and the other side did just enough to gain you victories. Trent Dilfer won that team a yeah. Super Bowl. Brad Johnson won the Bucks a Super Bowl. I think that's what you have to hang your hat on with this club until you get everybody back, if you even get everybody back. You're asking me what I see out there. I still see defense. You brought it up before with the guys that you had in the fourth quarter in last night's game. They'll still play defensively. The fact of the matter is, are they going to score 91 points or 88 like they did against Denver? Then they're not beating anybody. I think even they realize that. If you don't have a Jimmy Butler and you don't have a Tyler Hero in the lineup, that's going to kill your offense. So many people told me when they got Terry Rozier, hey, that's great. We've got four 20-point scorers now in the lineup. Well, how many times have you had the opportunity to put all four of them out on the floor to get ready to be the type of team you hope they're going to be? But they still can play defense. That's what I hang my hat on, and I think that if you're going to get in the play, but if you're going to score 1985 or 1995, you got to win basketball games by putting the ball in the basket a lot more than you used to. So I think if I'm worried about anything, it's consistency on offense. Because I still think if right at this point, they have the type of defense that can win even in the playoffs. They are keeping, at like every team they play, I don't care who's playing, they do hold them to below their season average. If not by little, sure. by a lot. And they're just not scoring yeah. enough. So that much I, I agree with that, man, I don't know what happens – where it, and it's only stretches during the game, Tommy. It's not the whole yeah. game. It's like a 10-minute stretch or a five-minute stretch where the other team goes on this 15-0 or 17-2 run like last night where they just can't score. Yeah, there's no question about it. And, and that's what's going to continue as long as you have players out of the lineup as Terry Rozier is still out there coming back from the knee injury, trying to figure out exactly where he wants to get the ball, not only for himself, but for other guys. And there's Bam last night, uh, pretty much dominating the first half of the game. Yeah. And then uh, the next thing you know, he's not getting a shot in the fourth quarter. Something has to happen offensively with however you figure out how you're going to do it, that whatever you have out there, I, I think you're going to get the same thing tomorrow night, Leroy, to be honest with you. You're going to watch the play Cleveland. 
They'll give them a game. We get that feeling. But there's going to be that spurt that teams have time and time again in the league. The Heat has them every once in a while, offensively as well. And then all of a sudden it looks like they go to sleep offensively. You're going to get that type of play until you get everybody back. But the problem is, when is that time going to come? And is it going to be enough to get this team acclimated to one another again to be ready for the playoffs when it happens? There's so many people out there, and I don't mean you guys. I just keep hearing, well, that's all right. Last year in the playoffs, all of a sudden they flipped the switch and turned it on. You know, that doesn't happen all that often in sports. And you can't hope that if you're the number eight seed, you're going to do what you did again. You're going to have to wake up and do something about it. And you're getting really late in the season to try to get your offense in gear. You can still play defense and be really good at it. But uh, this team is still at this point that they give up too many points in short spans of time, like you just mentioned. And it's unfortunate, but uh, that might be what you're going to continue to see until you get everything the way you want it. Yeah, Tommy, I keep trying to tell Leroy, you can't just flip a switch and expect to just do what you did last year. It doesn't always happen that way, for sure. But, you know, Leroy's a fan. What can he say? Sometimes he's yeah. blinded by the fan. <laughs> what can I say, dude? Uh, Tommy, you Tommy, cannot believe what just <laughs> happened. Tommy, I've been fight. I've been saying exactly what you said for the last two days, and I've been called a hater. Where you're not a heat no fan, guts. where you're no not, guts, you got dude. no guts, right? <laughs> and so you should have saw our faces when you said that. Because... <laughs> I got faith. All right, you know what? We flipped the switch last year, mind you. I don't want to go to a playoff game, but I don't. I mean, a play-in game. I don't need a play-in situation, Tommy. What's the ideal seeding situation for the Miami Heat? Based off of uh, speaking of Brady Hawk yesterday, based off of my personal opinion, I think six is a sweet spot. What do you think is the best possible landing spot for the Heat? Well, I think six sounds pretty good to me, especially when you're in the position you're in right now at eight. They're chasing six. They can get the six. I think they can get there. And then they play three, whoever three is. It could be Milwaukee, which I really don't want a part of. But then again, those are always exciting first-round series. Uh, Cleveland would be a good indication. You play them twice in the next five days. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to see what you can do there. But they're also injured. Mobley, Struess, Mitchell have missed an awful lot of time. So I don't think you're getting the real Cavaliers when you're playing tomorrow if any of those guys can't play again. Uh, but I still like the fact that Miami has experience in the playoffs. And if you play a team like Cleveland, who got knocked out the first round last year, you know, Struess is, is a playoff uh, type of player. But, uh, you know, I don't expect him to try to carry them. Mitchell, he, he's played well in the playoffs with Utah in the past. They've got guys who played in the postseason, but not together as a group. Have they been successful? So I like Miami's chances in a series with them. And then after that, you get the other one, whether it's Cleveland or Milwaukee, depending on which one's in the 2-7 situation. I think just like everybody else, guys, I think if you can avoid Boston all the way into the Eastern Finals again, I think that's the best way to go about it. So that's why I'm with you. I like six if that's the situation. But Eric Spolster is like anybody else, you know. Uh, put me any place, just as long as we make them, and we'll take our chances from there. Tommy, I appreciate you joining us. I appreciate you taking the time, sir. It is always a pleasure to speak to you, my friend. Thanks, Tommy. Same here, Marcos. Thank you, Leroy. Alrighty. When we hey. come back, we got no, 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 our... no, no, no. What? No, what are you talking about? No, I want you to apologize. I want you to apologize. That was nasty work. That was nasty work. That was nasty. That was nasty. That was Marco, that was nasty. Marco. I blacked out. No, 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 no. You didn't black <laughs> out. I blacked no, out. No, no, no. You turned Tobino. You turned into El Tobino. El Tobino. El Tobino. That's what you turned into. That's nasty. How you gonna take that man's what? How you gonna take that man's thoughts? How you gonna take that man's words? You know it's all. You know there's audio recordings of what he said already, and you. You just is that's that audio moon? plagiarizing. I can't be held. That was that's audio plagiarism. Dude, you know what? You could maybe forget what you said for 24 hours, but yep. 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 12 minutes. Wait, 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 wait. The only wait. What now? This is another mind. thing. The <laughs> only reason why you would listen to, to him, yeah, and not me. Because he's Tom. white. Oh, <laughs> you ain't, oh. You ain't call, why you ain't called Tommy? Oh, well, Tommy, you ain't a Heat fan. Why you ain't a Heat fan? Why you just a hater? You ain't got no guts, Tommy. You ain't got no guts. You know what he it said is? The you know same what? exact thing I said. It literally you are right word for that word. Point, no, 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 no. I look at you, you Leroy. Explaining to do. You're right, Leroy. I look at you as a as a handsome chocolate man, and I'm like. <laughs> 
this guy can't be much more than 30 years old. What does he know? I look at Tommy. I'm like, Tommy's old and wise. So what are you trying to say? Tommy was doing James Nathan's created basketball? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know like, what? You, shot, you, you know what? You are and nasty. And, and you are a horrible thing human being. I was going to let it go, but yeah. I had to tell Tommy. I had to. Oh, no. You, no, you. Tommy wasn't. See, look, look, Tommy wasn't on YouTube. If Tommy had YouTube. Mm. And I was able to see the laughter, the just dismay in yes. our faces, on our faces. Oh, wait, wait. Just and Marco's totally Marco raised. Marco start doing, no, Marco start doing this. Uh, and well, then you came out with, you went, you went, you went, you went El yeah. Tobino on us. What yeah. in the hell was that? I can't you know what? be held responsible you know, for again, what happened. Maybe if it happened in the first hour, yep. right? But it happened literally. 12 mm. minutes ago. You know who's very proud of him? Yeah. Toby. Oh, oh my goodness. That was such a Toby Oh, move. my goodness. I don't know what you guys are oh. talking about, really. Was, hey, wait, 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 wait. So, I wait. Let me ask. Hey, hey, Twitch. I need time to review Twitch. what happened. Twitch, yeah. you too. So, is Tommy a hater? Is he not a fan? Because that's what you said about um, me. That's what no. you said about me. Oh, Leroy's not even. Yeah. Oh, here goes Leroy hating again. Here we go. Uh, is Tommy hating? Don't forget gutless. Remember when I said Gutl that? gutless? <laughs> I got all of them. I, hey, I got receipts. Y'all put it on. Y'all put it. Uh, y'all put it in writing. Yo, right. Leroy's got a Walmart uh, receipt for you, yes. Marco. Look, there's an explanation. Yes. It's like there's explanations to everything. Like I said, Tommy is old and wise. He knows. Oh, I'm, I'm Leroy's just, a young oh, whippersnapper. Oh my goodness! No, Tommy don't, Leroy's Tommy a don't young. sound like a hater. Really? I sound like a hater, even though I said the same Steve? damn words. Yo, and Steve, yo. Steve, Dr. Toboggan says it too. Tommy, wise guru. You see? <laughs> oh, okay. the way he says it, so, it's just so, perceived so, differently. So, can I just say this? Yep. The same words mm. coming out of my mouth have a different tone than when Tommy says it. Mm. Even is though it it's the same words, yeah, is, is it, it articulated, articulated just a little bit it better? Same, yeah. It was the same way. It was the same damn words, right? So I want to yeah. hear y'all listen. As soon as I tell you about live golf, I'm gonna go over to to uh to the Twitch, and I want to hear y'all explain mm. yourselves because right now, mm. right now, I think I need an apology. Oh, I, think, I think I need an apology. You do. I, I think agree. he does. We'll call Tommy. We'll get him to apologize. Why would Tommy have to apologize? <laughs> oh, that doesn't you mean? No. <laughs> no. You, El Tobino. You. So, anyway, golf's bold this league is coming back to Miami from Friday, April 5th to Sunday, April 7th. And now's your chance to be there. Catch Live Golf at Doral's Blue Monster and see John Rahm. Brooks Kepka and Dustin Johnson take on one of the world's most fearsome golf courses with live DJs and a euphoric headline concert. Tickets are selling fast, so grab yours now at livegolf.com. That's L I V golf.com. Listening to.
Tua. It's our Tua. It's our Tua. It's our Tua. Tua, Tua, Tua. Tongue of Iloa. Not to a tag of Leoa. A for effort. Dolphins quarterback. Tua. It's our Tua. It's our Tua. Tua. Two to 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 Daddy loves you guys. Our Tua with Tobin and Leroy. Check the history of food. Oh, Doing the program, ladies and gentlemen. I think, I think, as El Tobino, yep, you should sing it in Spanish. Oh, <laughs> tua. caballero. <laughs> that's right. That's there we good, go. Right? That's yeah. how. That's how. That's how you got to do it for the rest of the week. I will try. That is. Now say in Danny Bliss. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> hey, Gotta get them all out. So, so, uh, oh my God, that might have been that made my week. Oh, hey, perfect. That, <laughs> yeah. that that made my week because I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. Usually, usually, with Tobin, it may happen like the next day. Yep. Right. You know, it might happen, and he can lie, and then you got to go pull up the tape, right? No, this yeah. was instant. This yeah, was yeah, yeah. It, it, I'm like instant it, mac and cheese, baby. It, it was quick. Then was some hominy grits right there. Yeah. <laughs> Just add a little bit of water, baby. Pancake batter real quick. Hey, so it was, hey, oh, that made my week. We, we could always say we always had Tuesday. Because yeah, right? <laughs> the only thing I wish that it could have been Tobin. Yep. But you tried to wiggle out of it just like he would. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've, you see that full-fledged attempt. I attempted to throw you under the bus. <laughs> hey, why, because oh, you didn't throw me under the bus. The, the, the you, great, threw him, you reversed. Yeah. The you greatest a, thing about that. You did an L, you did a K, you did hey, everything, bro. Yeah, it was the good. greatest thing about that is the looks on our faces. Right? Because, <laughs> wow. because I was like, oh my goodness. He just said the same thing. Vlad yeah. was like, oh, got one. And then Marcos was like, oh no. How do I turn I this around? He <laughs> got like, damn, these streets gonna need a body. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm trying to give him, trying to give him a body. Hey, a oh, this will go down. Yeah, in history is one of my greatest moments on this hey. show. Let me, uh, let me just go ahead and warn you. When Tobin comes back next week and we try to tell him about this, I'm going to deny, deny, deny. Baby. <laughs> no, you know, we got, we got deny, tape. Deny, deny. We got tape. Oh, I'm gonna look. I even wrote the time on a piece of paper. Oh yeah, oh, that's, the, that's the key with you guys. With you. <laughs> Whoa. With Tobin and El Tobino, you got to da- timestamp everything because once oh, you get the timestamp, oh yeah, then you got you immediately can bring bring the evidence. Yep. And we already know what needs to be marked. Hmm. Oh my goodness, but Marcos, yes, uh, this is not your first attempt at he- holding that seat. Yeah, but but you got a pretty good note under there. This seat sucks. Yeah, it sucks when you have bad takes too. Oh my goodness! It's like I have a lot of those nowadays. Oh no, but you—is you, hey. it the seat? It, it is. The, it, it's it's the, the, well, is that the seat of bad takes? But the, here's the difference. Joe Rose sits here. You uh, usually SBT. here. Usually, SBT. When Tobin sits there, yeah. we have time, and he can deny it, and then he'll deny it, and then go to break. And oh then no, he'll we'll do go to stuff. Else. Yeah, right, yeah, he'll he do but, the world. But, you oh. couldn't even pull out your katana, it happened so quick. Tommy, like Tommy. it was like kidney shot bah, bah, before you even got to the before you could even pull him out. I'm hit, I'm hit. Tommy, Tommy got you. It wasn't even right. me. 
This is Tommy's fault. Tommy hit you with a Bernard Hopkins body shot to Oscar De La Hoya. It was like, yes. <laughs> like three three seconds later, it was like, oh, wait a minute, I got hit. And then yes. you just crumbled. Yeah, and we all got you, oh. man. It was ridiculous. How dare he have such a logical take like that? <laughs> <laughs> just put the mirror right in your face. Hey, How don't worry. I went, I went over to Twitch. I said, so is Tommy a hater? <laughs> no, they were saying nice things about Tommy. Yeah. So I, I guess I got to get sucked up into that. Because we said the same things. And in fact, I didn't repeat what he said. In fact, he repeated what I said. Mm. So it even has a different, you know, feel to it. Because it'd been different if I would have repeated and then everybody everybody would have jumped down my throat, Vlad. Oh, Tommy just said that. You just saying that because of Tommy. But no, mm. I said it first. Well... It's a rough, uh, rough first hour. Let's see if we can top that of the second yep. hour. Uh, headlines brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Supercenter. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know trucks. Let me ask Marco's you this. Marco's take was like the Heat's third quarter yesterday. Yes. Hey, a poo-poo platter. Hey, here we go. Let me ask you this, Vlad. I was thinking about this last night. They didn't sign Van Ganks for $10 million, mm -mm. Right? But you could have got Chase Claypool for 12. I mean, Chase Young, you mean? Chase, Chase Young. Young. Chase Young. Chase Young. Chase no, Young. Okay. Sorry. I know that. So what are the Giants but, but trying I'm, to play? I'm getting to think. I'm beginning to think that people have questions about him. Chase Young? Absolutely. Yes. Because when he came out, he was supposed to be, he was you know, to be the like T.J. Watt. He was supposed to be Watt, right. Right. He was right. supposed to be and, like one of those. And then he and had the rookie of the year. He was, I don't know. Yeah. It, I don't know if it was. The commanders that got him, right? Because he remember he left, he went out, he got traded out to San Francisco on the last deal of his, uh, last year of his rookie right. contract. The commanders, no, well, he was great rookie year. He was defensive player. Hurt. I mean, defensive hurt. rookie of the year. Then he got then the injuries happened, and then obviously the uncertainty and that goes on. They in traded Washington. him. Then they traded him to the Niners, and he didn't really. It, he didn't. He had a good. Like, he had a good first half of the Super Bowl in the Super Bowl, but if you look at his stint with the Niners, it was more up and down. Up and down. It, wasn't, but it was see, no consistency. That's that's the thing. That's the questions I think people have with, with Chase Young is that it's not that he doesn't have the ability, but all the people that you pay that big money to, the one thing you can say, they're going to play a certain way all the time, right? And so if you can't say that about him, you know, then there's where the questions come in. Now, he's still going to make decent money, not for a rush in. He's going to make average money for a rush. He make, think about this, dude. He make it two more million than Van Ginkle. Say that. So that wait, means wait. that. It's Van Ginkle, but what's. Wait, ten a Van year. Is it one year deal for Van Ginkle? Two year deal. For okay. two a year. This, for ten a year. And he's the yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a one year. Had a better season though. But but I'm just improved. saying. But for, but for where he was selected, he shouldn't yeah. be on a one year show improve type of show, uh, deal. He should yeah. right, that's, especially, that's on, totally especially after his rookie rookie deal. Right after his rookie he's supposed, year, he's supposed to be on like that same trajectory as uh, Christian. So was on his big. He's supposed to be on his first big contract right, right. now. Right. So so I thought about it, and then I started having this conversation, and I was like. You know what? I can see why teams stayed away because it sounds good, right? It sounds good. But you know who else took that path? Jadavian Clowney. Now, they say different things about Jadavian Clowney yeah, because right. Jadavian Clowney doesn't necessarily get a lot of sacks, but he's mad. Uh, he's pretty good against the run also. So he causes havoc. He just doesn't have the numbers. Yeah. He's. I look at Jadavian Clowney almost like the same way I look at Russell Maryland when he was selected number one. It's you, you're you're because they're the number one selection. You're thinking they're supposed to do more numbers, and he did. Well, Russell Maryland's in the Hall of Fame. Is he? Is is Russell? I, I think don't think so. so. No, I don't think so. What am I getting him mixed up with? You might be getting mixed up with um Cortez Kennedy or something like that. I'm, or, I might or Warren Sapp or Warren Sapp because Warren Sapp, they all they were all yeah. he's in the uh University of Miami, right? Talk, but right? Russell okay. was the number one pick and in the Cotton Bowl Hall of Fame. Did he even know the Cotton Bowl? Yeah, yeah, Russell did damage. But Russell, when in college, he was that guy, and then when he got Damn. to the NFL, 
he wasn't getting the sacks or anything like that, but he was still a great football player. And he, right, you know, so that's, that's the just it. We can't, and and that's the kind. That's the same way. That's the reason why, if you want to be honest, that's the reason why Chris Wiggins is not here. Yep, because they tried to find ways not to pay him by talking about his numbers, even though he got a hundred tackles. Right, he as a get, as a no sacks. ridiculous. He didn't get sacks. So next year. He got, he got 37 sacks. fewer tackles, but got more sacks. Yeah. So, like, you know what that's saying? That's saying to me, I thought I was doing what this team needed. But what you want is numbers to get paid. So I'll give you those numbers. Now you can't afford me. It's really weird with this whole uh, pass rusher, the most recent, like, pass rusher phenoms we've seen. We expect them to be staples of – you know, that's how we grew up. Julius Peppers, staples of that Panthers defense. Jared Allen, right. staple of that Vikings defense. Jason Taylor with the Dolphins. There's always, like, you know, Warren Sapp. And but here's various- why. You're mentioning Hall of Famers and guys yeah. that came in and started making an impact right away. Like, yep. if he was making the same impact he made his rookie year, he would have yeah. still been a commander or been traded for a lot. Oh, he would be in the middle. Uh, he would be on his first year of his big right. contract. Exactly. The commander franchise so, is horrible, though, bro. It really can stain. It's almost like I get that drafted by the Charlotte Bobcats. Wait, Bobcats. but guess what? Look yeah. at what it did to Kirk Cousins. He got the hell out of there, though. No, because they kept on playing with his. They, they kept, kept on playing. They with kept his giving money. him one year deals. Franchise sure. tagging him, so he's like, "All right, you know what? I, I may know. not be able to be. I might not be prime time in those games, but I'm gonna be prime time in business. Anything that touches Washington, just like rots, or right. they get the hell out of there." And right. that's usually what it, you know, I what, mean, what the trade off. Think about this though. When we talk about pass rushers, there are certain pass rushers who are getting paid. Oh, Dude that went to New York, got 150. Yep. Say that. Oh, Brian again. Burns. Uh, Brian uh, Burns. Uh, yeah. 150. That's I mean, when that's you saw that number, you were like, who? What? And they didn't want to pay Saquon. That's what I said. That was well, crazy. that's a well, that's what I need. I gotta talk to some Giants fans. I, talk I think, I think, are they trying to win games three to nothing because they, they spent all their money on defense? Well, here's what going. they're gonna do. Yeah. Here's what I here's what I think they're gonna do. They're gonna go get some weapons for Daniel Jones, and you ain't got no damn choice because you gave him 40 million a year. Okay, yeah. I mean, looking at these, but that, 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 hey, you made that mistake. Now you gotta try to fix it. The way you fix it is get talent around it. Now, here's the problem. The problem is you was going to have to pay Saquon. Okay? Mm -hmm. Would you rather pay Saquon or go get two more skill players and help out Daniel Jones? And kind of just get by in the run game. But they didn't get no skill players. Not yet. Not yet. But that's what I'm saying. Your whole... All your money. Do you Keep understand? In mind, they paid, there's a lot they of Dex, there's Lever, a lot of Lawrence big contract. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Burns. They just gave Burns a big contract. Yeah. The, the rookie that they selected a couple of years ago, Thibodeau. They're gonna have to give him a big contract because he's been living up. He's been living up to the potential. But here's here's the deal. Ain't none of that talent been on the offensive side of the ball. That's what I'm saying. So so they gonna go here, Vlad. Here's the thing you have to realize. Everybody looking at X not being signed yet. Keep in mind, he's a June 1st cut. Right. There's June 1st cuts coming. You got the draft. They can still, the draft is very deep. I want, didn't they say it's very deep at wide receiver? So very you don't deep. need to, you Seven right. guys can be selected in the first right. round. So, so let's be clear. There's still opportunities there to get some skilled players. So I'm not just going to totally dismiss it. The, you know the positions that are strong, and you know the positions that are weak in the draft, right? You knew the positions that were strong in free agency. You knew the positions that were weak. That's why Robert Hunt got $100 million, right? That's why Christian Wilkins got 110 Supply and demand. All the guards that were available got sucked up real fast and got paid a boatload of money because there's no guards available. Although and that's kind of how it works. So you watch as 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 this offseason goes and as the draft goes, you watch how X's um value, value rises, 
depending on who gets what. And that's going to be the same thing with wide receiver. That's going to be the same thing with some other positions that, that have some depth in the draft. And there's a lot of free agents that are going to be cut on June 1st. Do you, okay, because free agency guys wasn't really that deep in wide receiver. Because uh-huh. you still got the Tyler right. Boyd or are out there. You got you got um, the, the you can bring them in whenever they ain't. Odell. Right. Those guys are probably gonna be signed. They well, I mean, the Giants Boyd ain't signed Odell. Odell's not gonna probably be signed till June and stuff like that. But here's the key, here's the here's the theory that you just said, Leroy. Because this is such a deep wide receiver class, they they they're starters that will be this rookies, these guys who are gonna be selected in the third round that could be starters in the NFL next season. That's how deep the draft is. Yeah, look, it, it's happening. Well, so, you know why? Everybody's looking at Pikachu, right? And they're saying we could get one Damn, too. Huh? He's talking about Puka Nakua, by the way. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like Pikachu. Who? Puka Nakua. What was his name? What was his name? Not his name. <laughs> okay. You see, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna start calling him Pikachu now. Yeah, I, I, you know that. I, I, it's not. It's not. Was it Puka Nakua? All right. Yeah, Puka, yeah, yeah, there you Puka go. Nakua. Yeah. All right, but I just, you, can, you can get. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. The Giants have their quad, and um, we're not talking about the. I'm talking about the Giants because this is what we were saying. Yeah. If, you, you, if the Giants had a quarterback that you, when you draft those receivers, he could go and develop them. That would be, it would be oh fine. I can understand your point. It'd be similar to the Dolphins. If the Dolphins were in a situation where they put all their money on the defense, and then they had, but you know, Tua, and you see what he can do, you can draft those receivers, those young guys, and develop. Right. When you got when you pay forty million dollars to a guy that you're trying to get rid of, and you you select those those weapons, but here's what you got to do, Vlad. You, what you have to develop do, with him? Here, here's what you got to do, though. You still have to get talent at that position, so that if you bring somebody else in, they have talent to work with, right? To take another quarterback and put him in the same situation Daniel Jones was in. And then expect the situation to be any different than what it was. That's bad running of your organization. So you got to still get talent at those positions, and 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 maybe look. Daniel Jones had moments, right? But those moments were not based on the talent he had around him. No, you see, so so right, so so what happens? If you improve the talent around him, that's all you have right now because you already committed money to him. So you got to at least try to do it. You can't go in there and not even try to put talent around him before you establish he's a bum or not. When we come back, we're going to talk about a few signings the Miami Dolphins have made, a few restructurings of contracts as well, just to help free some money up. And can they move up in the draft? Can we talk about that next? If that's possible, yeah, we can take a look at our draft stock, what uh, potential options we have at that number, and what potential we have of moving up. Before we go to break, though, I want to let you know that Sting is coming to the Fillmore in Miami Beach. No, not the wrestler. In October with the Sting 3.0 tour, we've got a chance for you to win tickets to enter. Just text the word POLICE, P-O-L-I-C-E, to 20357. That's POLICE. To 20 35 7. And you got a chance to win. Message data rates may apply. This is a Live Nation show. We'll be back with more Tobin and Leroy after this. This hour of Tobin and Leroy.
you still Snoop Dogg and D.R.A. Guess who's black? Still. Still doing that shit, Andre. Show. Welcome back to the Toby Leroy Show uh, live for Spring Break, Spring Break edition. Uh, it is your boy Vlad holding things down on the other side of the screen. Leroy live in action. Marco's holding things down for Tobin and Jay Fig in the back, making sure we don't blow everything up. Uh, just wanted to run by a couple moves here that the Dolphins have made. Mm-hmm. They've been uh, trying to save some money. As you guys know, we were up against the uh, cap pretty badly, and we've done some things to restructure, let some people go. Uh, a week after restructuring or retouching, I should say, the contracts of cornerback Jalen Ramsey. Restructuring that, or retouching? It says retouching, which I think I'm is not restructuring. Sure, but I feel like that's potentially maybe a different verbiage. For you, like, want me to tell you, you want me to tell you what they do? Yeah, what's the difference between the two? It's not, it's really none. Okay, but here's what they do. Say yeah. if you you're owed twenty million next year, yeah, right, or say fifteen to fifteen million, they'll stretch that contract out to three years. Write you a check for twenty million, so mm. you still get your twenty million, but you yeah. only count fifteen million against the cap. Or something along those lines. That's how they restructure. Gotcha. Yeah, you what they said what with uh, with Chubb, what they did is they converted his thirteen point seven. They converted thirteen point seventy five million of Chubb's base to a signing bonus. Signing bonus, yeah. Right. So signing bonus. Little, when yeah. you convert it to a signing bonus, let's be clear. When yeah. You convert some to a signing bonus that's amortized over the length of your contract. So if he has what's that word you use? Amortized. So if he if you say if he has three more years left, you know that, thir- that 13 million is gonna count like four and a half million against the cap instead of 13 million. Wow. Gradually write off the initial cost of an asset over a period. Amortized. You knew what that meant, Vlad? No. All right, cool. I just you know, no, Leroy's no, you're teaching leaving us. me out here, dude. You're no, I, you, you didn't see me. I shook my head. I shook my head. No, but Leroy was explaining. I wanted to you want hear. Me to tell you why? Yeah. You want me to tell you why y'all don't know what amortized is? Too poor. Have you owned a house? Nope. No. There you go. There you go. That's that it. Right. That's it. It's not too. So poor. we po. That's what, yeah. We po. I told you. No, it ain't got nothing to do with that. If you own a, if you own a house, a condo, or anything, you would know yeah. what amortized is. But anyway, well, uh, so they take that money that's owed. Yeah. Say if you owe 13 to 15 million this year, they convert it yep. to a signing bonus, and then it gets spread out over the length of your contract. So basically, you're making a guaranteed money, which it would be anyway, right? The player yep. don't know none of the difference, right? Because he might get a big fat check right now. You see what I'm saying? That's how it works. And you can do that with the guys you're definitely going to keep. You can't be restructuring. Now, here's the other thing. There are going to be some June 1st restructuring, but that's different. That's called you taking a pay cut and you either take it or leave it, right? Mm. So a guy that's making $15 million, right, they haven't played in two years, they'll redo his contract so he only get 10 That would also free up $5 million. So there's a lot that they can do. They probably did it with um the left tackle. Armstead? Armstead. Yeah, yeah but right? was he about to retire? Yeah, yeah still, so what? Know. So so wait. If he's gonna retire, him. if he's gonna retire, who cares? If he's supposed to make 15 million, if you stretch that out over three or four years. Yeah. Give him a check now, right? Who cares? You see what I'm saying? That's how like you it. stay. That's how you stay ahead of the salary cap game. Let's keep but advertising you everyone. You can't do that to everybody. You can only do that to your big money guys who you gonna keep anyway. You mm-hmm. don't do that to a guy who's wishy washy. You ain't gonna write him no big ass check. Yeah, I'm ready to amber. So Tyreek, you could tie. You can advertise. Keep doing it. They, do, yeah, they keep doing it with him. him. So they like you. You remember he came out and said, "Hey," and we say, "Hey, it don't mean I'm getting less money." When they restructure, yeah. 
True, right? True. Remember, he yeah, came and made it a point. Ramsey said that. Ramsey too, yeah. said that. Right. So that that's there, mean. I'm there's a lot of money. there's a lot of ways you can free up money, right? Um, and if they're freeing up money like this, and you're gonna get a big break of like what 17 million to June 1st, they'll be under yeah. the cap. But here's the thing. It's starting to feel more and more like it wasn't that they didn't want Christian Wilkins. They was never going to pay him that much money because they're making moves to free up money for a whole lot of other reasons, just not him. You Well, we all know the reason why they're freeing up money. El Tobino doesn't like it. Yeah. El doesn't Tobino, deserve. tell us why. Tell us why. To overpay you. someone no, who doesn't need to be no, overpaid. Let, let me explain something to you. To overpay whoa, 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 the namesake whoa. of this hour. Hmm. Hold on, player. Hmm. Let me tell you why you do it now. Because if he has the same year he had last year, it's gonna cost you 60 million. Well, that's why they lost Christian Wilkins because they could have had him here. That's, that's how, how they lost Christian Wilkins. And here's the other thing: you want to hear something even crazier? Yeah, you could pay somebody 60 million a year, but it only counts like 35 against your cap. Just the way you have it worded with the, the guaranteed money or whatever. You got to amortize them. No. If you have to franchise him, he going to get $50 million and all 50 going to count against the cap. So you lose again. All of a sudden, you have all this positivity, Leroy, that he's going to have this amazing season, even though you haven't seen Wait, it. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. There is nothing that you could say that would prove otherwise since Mike McDaniel has been the coach. I mean, he's had two good back back to back seasons, right? Like, what? what, what he hasn't okay, even tell, played what, two back to back. So, in in order for him to have the a season, full season last year, yeah, here, Marcos, yeah, in order for him to have the season to not warrant him getting paid, he would have to take a step back. Let me ask you this: in the last two years, what has happened that would lead you to believe he's getting ready to take a step back? How frail he is. Oh, come on. He, he played, played the whole season last, last year. Hell, dude. See, it was see, Vlad, the first time in five Vlad, years. Vlad. Here's what I call hitting somebody with facts, and then yeah. they just go into never never land with response. Oh, never never land. He's he played all 17 games. Okay. What? What? Okay. Oh, but guess what? You only had yeah. to pay him like 12 million. Daniel Jones got 40 million a year, and he was out for the whole year. See, but that is a horrible franchise. And look what about wait, 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 what about uh the old Jets quarterback and Aaron Rodgers? Four plays. Bozo. I mean, it, it, they were the laughing stock of the NFL. I'm not sure what. No, we Daniel Jones signed me and Aaron Rodgers. I will say this. The Browns went through five quarterbacks and still got to the playoffs. Five. Y'all lost y'all first quarterback. How many more games you played more than us? How many more games? What do you mean? How many more games? Oh, like in the playoffs. No, how many more? I mean, yeah, we played 17 games. Yeah, yeah. You played yeah. 18. Huh. Oh, but okay. still. Huh. All right. Okay. Huh. Oh, that's it. That's how we doing it now? Wow. Yeah, I mean, maybe. you're talking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Bro. So so you saying you the Jets, it? you saying the Jets and the Browns and the Jets and the and the Dolphins are close because they only play one more game. I can understand if you know you won and you want to walk our game. I would have been like, all right, you did it. Hey, but do you? you, you know, hey, hey, Vlad, Vlad, your last, mm. Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. I'm gonna say this: your mm. last hot take is venturing into the realm of El Tobino. What are you talking about? <laughs> Y'all didn't yes. make the playoffs, dog. I understand that, you but you're close. I understand that, but you won't. I can understand if you went further in the playoffs. We all won the same amount of playoff games last year. None. Hmm. Okay. But you know what? Yeah, yeah, you know what, Marcos? Million. Marcos, yeah. and I yeah. say this, and and I'm gonna say this because here's how we take your words and use them against you. Yep. Okay. You ready to go to break because time. you talking about what Tua hasn't done? Yep. I bring to the table Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen have had better teams and haven't done anything. They did yeah. not have better teams. Fuck. They did not have better teams. What? What are you talking about? What everybody was team. talking about? They were, everybody was talking about yeah, the the Baltimore Ravens. Wait, wait. Yeah. Everybody was talking about the Baltimore Ravens as being a shoe into the Super Bowl. Yeah, they were almost there, knocking oh. on the door. Way closer See, than the hey, Dolphins. Vlad, 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 Vlad. But who what? had more expectations? 
the, the Ravens are our, our personal. The Ravens, problem. dude, who had Ravens, more production? Vlad, the Ravens were production. a can't lose team. That's what they ne- can't Ravens, lose. After that nine, after that beatdown on Christmas night of the Niners, and then they yes. whooped your ass on uh, the Ooh, following wait. Sunday. Uh, that's, Can that's I ask you a question? Eve, Can uh, I ask New Year's Eve. Vlad, I'm going to ask yeah. you this question, and I'm going to ask El Tobino. <laughs> right? Who had more of a failure? <clears throat> the Baltimore Ravens or the Miami Dolphins? Oh, the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. How yeah. do you get to the AFC Championship and you're more of a failure than a team? Because you were the top seed. Okay. Oh and point, it was at your you, house. You, you, wait. Point, do you understand what everybody no, was saying about Baltimore? Never the top no, seed. They definitely were. We they weren't a top seed. They, they were, were not a top, top seed, but they were t- one of the top two seeds, and they should have had home field advantage. Top two seeds. But guess should what? Have had home field. Number one offense. Record set That's quarterback. Beautiful. Record set That's a wide receiver. Can't even win a playoff game. That is beautiful. But when you beat the Niners by like 90 points, and then you beat the Dolphins the following week by 100 points, and then you beat the Texans. Those are high points of a season. You and know what I'm you home. No, Leroy's right. The I'm Ravens like, oh. had the more bigger disappointment than the Dolphins oh, last year. How do you get to the AFC Championship? So you're saying that they had a worse season then? Yes. How, how the hell does that make sense? Kyle? Because they didn't get to where they were they supposed to. They won more football games than the other two. But was, listen, did they get to their destination? Did it's they reach their goal? 31 teams didn't. And then like, that means there's 31 failures. That doesn't make sense. How do you mean that doesn't make sense? If you ain't first, you last. Ricky Bobby taught me that. But here's the deal. Here's here's the deal, though. See, I love the way he forgets the praise that Baltimore was getting and Lamar was getting going into the playoffs. Don't you get those? Let's let, then let's go back before because you're talking about at a certain point in the season, the Ravens. Let's go back to the beginning of the season. They didn't even want to sign Lamar Jackson. What expectations were on the Ravens then? None. Well, they no, there, was, there was a lot of expectations on Lamar that now that you got the big the contract, season, you right. got to produce. And he, but you know what? We're we're choosing where the expectations start. Let's go back even before when they didn't even what, want him. What, what, what expectations? How many more? For, how many further you want to go? Huh? I mean, to original know, sin? What are you talking know, about? They, we want, let's right? go back to they wanted him to play wide receiver. Let's keep going back. Well, how far do you want to go back? And he won an MVP and took his team to the AFC Championship. And my team can't even get past a wild card round. And they were first, the number one offense, a record-setting offense, putting up 70 points against the Broncos, a quarterback that led the league in passing, a wide receiver that led the league, was almost an MVP, yet they can't even get past the Titans? They couldn't even beat the Bills? They couldn't even beat a wild card round two well, years you, in a row? Well, you lost to the eventual champs. So did the Ravens. So then, okay. So then that's a bit. So as the Ravens, if I started my season with, by the way, my starting running back, Terry and his Achilles, my quarterback winning the MVP, making it to the AFC championship, and losing to the eventual champions, how do Vlad, they have a better season? Vlad, than... Vlad, Vlad. Does it make sense? He, he absolutely forgets that from about November, from about Thanksgiving to the end of the season, everybody was crowning the Baltimore Ravens champs. Okay, Facts. that's like two months, bro. Y- yes, two so months. Two months. They were everybody was saying cool. they're going to the Super Bowl. The season is seven months long. Oh. From the draft oh, to the Super Bowl. What are you talking about? That's that's dude. That's the, bad. That's camp, dude. That's a bad stat. You know what it is. You know what it is. That's a bad stat. You know what it is. That's a bad stat. You know what it is. But Black, it's a bad stat. I'm gonna tell you like this. This is how this is. It's like when you and your homeboy race, right? Hmm. And you decide we're gonna race 40 yards, yep. and you beat him in 40 yards, he go, Oh, but I would have got your ass at 100. That's what he's doing. He just keep going, he just <laughs> stretching it out till he get the, the, the result he wants. We got the 400 relay when we come back right after this. <laughs>
Tua with Tobin and Leroy. Yo, you wanna want, but I really, really want. Don't tell me what you want, but you really, really want. What do you wanna want, but I really, really want. Don't tell me what you want, but you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna do your thing. Aww. Yeah, what you is a Zika Zika? What? It's Zika Zika. Uh, is that a cigarette? Maybe. I really, really, really want to. You think anything else she was saying back then? You really, really, really wanted a a, a cigar cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the spring break. You said like, uh, like, uh, uh, was it, uh, Forrest Gump? Her breath, her breath tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> JP says, I know what it means. Wanna, oh, is she uh, gonna hear and tell yeah, us? I just found out exactly <laughs> based off of this message. I never really thought about it. You know, what? I just was jamming to the song, I didn't really think. What was it? I, I'm assuming that she's alluding to the Spice Girls being in request of Men? a sensual experience. In my opinion, she just wants a cigarette. I really, really, really want to see a cigarette. Uh, I'll hey. take my mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> uh, I, uh, okay. Got into a, a, a brief discussion recently about goats and who the goats of the goats would be right and i decided with march being the the time of brackets you can't play this this is too hard this is definitely something that takes it's probably gonna take a couple segments for sure but i figured if we don't get started we never will so you guys ready for round a speed round one before we get to this break how many how many groups how many people are there I'll tell you right now, there is 16. We're going to start at 16. Sweet okay. 16. Sweet 16. All right. Uh, okay, this round one pits Michael Phelps. Wait, 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 wait. Who are your number one seeds? Tom Brady and Michael Jordan. That's it? That's no, it? Tom Brady from the East, <laughs> Michael Jordan from the West. It's supposed to be four number one seeds, dude. Yeah, it's supposed to be four. Guys, you know what? We're just gonna go fine, fine. Let's go. Let's this go. This guy's go, worse. Let's go. You're worse than the NCAA committee. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm a Rick Pati. I'm gonna be Rick Patino right now. Let me get a little nil money. Uh, <laughs> Gretzky All right, go. Phelps. Michael Phelps versus Wayne Gretzky. Round one. What do you got? In one. Wow. Just overall, just greatness. Goatness. Goatness can be de- determined by whatever way. You I'm going with Gretzky. Me. Gretzky. Wow. Yeah, because uh, that, that was year in, year out. Well, Olympian, though. It doesn't, it's year in, year out. Michael Phelps got four years to get yeah, ready for right, something. Okay, okay, that's true. And it was a long run by Gretzky. Yeah. What do you think? It was a long run by Gretzky? Michael Phelps. I like, he convinced me I'm going Gretzky because I was getting ready to say that uh, Michael Phelps was more dominant in his sport than Wayne Gretzky was in his, even yeah. though it was but, every four years. Yeah. But this guy actually brought exactly. hockey to America. As the, but again, that's I say I agree with you. Yeah. I changed my I changed my pick. Leroy, you're not gonna like this next one. Uh-oh. Serena Tom versus Brady. Tiger. Oh wow! Ooh. I thought you. Um, no, oh, it's God. it's very it's actually it's, very. It's, easy. it's actually easy. It's actually it's easy. This is, yeah, it's, it's easy. Tiger. No, it's, it's, it's Serena. Oh, no, it's it's not as here, easy as you thought. Here, let me tell you why. Yeah. Okay. Because when you see the benefits of what golf is today, it's all about Tiger, okay? Tiger has changed the way Mm -hmm. people go about golf forever. Now, I'm going to say this. Serena was just dominant in her sport. but she She changed the way the sport proceeds. Like, perceived. Yes. yes. No. So she did. Tiger, oh no no and, no no. And, and, and wait, she is the reason why they get equal shares. Well, it's now yeah, but she's also the reason why they men's tennis was in the forefront. Right. Then because of the Williams sisters and Serena dominating, women's tennis was in the forefront. It Correct. became prime time. Agreed. Agreed. Remember, dude, Agreed. because of Serena and and Venus, they split. They used to have the the it was used to be called Super Saturday. It would be the two men semifinal and the women's final, right? Yeah. The, in the women's final, the women's final would be the middle, right? Or it yeah it would, it would be in the middle. The men the first semifinal would open it, and then the big match would close it out. 
Once Arena saw I went in, they were like, nah, you know what? You men play those first two semifinal games early. Prime time, we put in the women's final. That yeah. was all Serena. Again, Sabrina was bringing asses to the to but, the but to here, all those places. Here, here, and here. here's the other, this is my last point. She got more grand slams mm. in an individual sport mm. where they look at grand slams. Yeah. 15 is great, but right. as a golden bear that still got 18. Ain't right. nobody got more than 22 like Serena. I, no one's I, above I, Serena. I, got no one's I, above got, I get I get your I get your point. I get your point. But here's where it ends for me. Is that golf has continued on that gradual uptick, that gradual bringing more money to the sport. And it started with Tiger. I think Tiger's first win was 200,000, right? In 96, right? And Scotty Scheffler just got paid 4.5 million. Okay? That jump is because of Tiger. And 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 the the amount of good golfers that are out there or is because of Tiger. I would say Serena has been more dominant, but everybody couldn't do what she does. There's but, more people that are dedicate more of their life to golf, to be good golfers. And now you're starting to see younger guys. We just had a kid. So Coco Golf. Had, so Coco Golf. No, so I'm, not, I'm not saying there's there so are, Naomi is not, I, I, there I, are. I, they are, and she was an inspiration for a lot of these young women. Yes, that coming but not up. I like they, Tiger. This is a good goat argument, but if we, you, I, you're not wrong in picking Tiger. I'm not, and I don't think I'm, I'm wrong. I'm not disagreeing with you either. I'm right. just saying I'm just that. Saying. Marco, I, hey, here's what you did. Nothing the community like putting Tiger versus Serena. Well, you did that. You put, oh. you put brother, you put brother versus sister. That I was wrong. Put Tony Hawk. <laughs> I think. <laughs> what I think is you should have had four brackets. Yeah. I know, I got, four brackets I for various for, bracket. for various sports. So you go tennis, um, yeah, no, it was hockey, long, okay. right? No, it would have been the same. But then Tiger and Serena should have met like the lead eight, yeah, or, or in, in, or or in, in, the, in the, the semifinals. Final Sometimes like, a wild card round is more exciting than the <laughs> game. <laughs> Sometimes it's not. You want a playing game? That's why. Look, right. we got so, we got more so, of this. So yeah, this, that, like, it, well, so. We still haven't decided because I can't tell him he's wrong. He can't tell me I'm wrong. Now, obviously, both of you guys are right. So we're going to send it to the, the chat. Vote in our chat. Vote in our text line. Who you think wins round one between Serena or Tiger in regards to the GOAT bracket we're currently doing. When we come back, we got Cat Talk, 15 minutes of heat. But I think we need to get back to this damn GOAT bracket. We haven't even gotten out of round one. We got more of that when we come back on the Tobin and Leroy Show. The number one sports adjacent show in America. Huck and Crowder with Solana and the Free Jimmy. Sports talk, in and out burger discussions, and what happens to milk on the moon. Weekday afternoons beginning at 2 on AM 560 Sports. WQAM. FM 99.9 HD2. And always live on the Free Odyssey app. Text WQAM on the Kendall Toyota text line at 305-567-0560. Kendall Toyota, all time in the 305 and home of the Kendall Toyota best price 366 days of savings. All at Kendall. Call 305-KENDALL and text WQAM at 305-567-0560. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? Well, Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has helped over 30.
Welcome back, cool cats. Back. Cool cats. It is the Toby and Leroy Show live, spring break edition live, pushing the buttons behind the glass. That's my best, like, uh, quiet storm. That was all right. That was all right. It was a bad one. It was all right. Uh, your Florida Panthers still off. Still off. They did lose uh, two games in a row, but it's okay because it is time now for Cat Talk. Hockey fans, don't sit this one out when it's game time. Make Celsius a part of your play and get that energy up. Game day is fueled by Celsius Essential Energy Drinks, the official energy drink of our Florida Panthers. Love that. Absolutely love that. Again, like Vlad just mentioned, Panthers still off. They uh, return to action Thursday against the Predators. It's going to be at Emirate Bank at 730. Have a chance to bounce back and get back in the win column. They got a, a, a few coveted matchups coming up. Uh, matchup against the Rangers, the Lightning, uh, Hurricanes. So, you know, they have a, a few opportunities to right some of their wrongs from recent, but it all starts again on Thursday against the Predators. Now, prior to us going on break, we had a uh, first portion of our GOATS bracket that we started. Yes, Leroy's probably, uh, what, is he talking to Cleveland right now? I'm not sure what he's doing, man. I can not I can never keep track of He's him. a busy man. It's 1209. I don't understand. Anyway, it could be something. He's always having renovations to his house, so maybe someone could is be. digging a new chimney or something like oh, that. Oh, he's back. Look at that. Look at that. He's back. Uh, do you dig chimneys? I'm not sure if that's a thing you do. But anyway, uh, you go down chimneys. Huh? No, you don't. You don't? I don't know. I'm not saying. You clearly have never, been, have never been in a house with a chimney. Yeah, you don't know what amaranth is? What What was the word again? Am, amortized? amortized. You don't amortized. know what hammer is? I know what amaranth is. That's the name. That's, the, bank. that's, that's yeah, the namesake of the arena of Indeed. the Panthers. All right. Uh, did you guys have time to uh, determine which one you want to allow to advance to the next round? I, I don't know. I, I don't, did we get any text audience. messages? Did we get any comments? Because I think I'm, we were uh, split on the comments in regards to I had some towards Serena. Actually, you know what? I think I may use J Fig's uh, vote as the tiebreaker. That's not there. fair. Because she's going to vote. She's going to side vote with the, for the girl. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. That is not fair, but... Hey, man, I don't make the rules except for the fact that I do. <laughs> we, we're we going to go with Serena to advance. Was it Serena your selection, too? It was, but I, you, you know. don't want to win on those standards. I would have went, went on uh, some good standards. That's fair. Uh, nonetheless, we are going to advance. All right, wait, wait, wait. We do have some text. We do have some text. Okay, perfect. All right, perfect. we do have some text. What are the text messages? Uh, let's see here. 305, Tiger Force Golf Courses to, uh, oh. to be rebuilt and redesigned. Huh. Uh, 15 majors in uh, someone in the 954, 15 majors in golf is much more difficult to achieve than 20 plus in tennis. How so is that? That's ridiculous. Because uh, in, because uh, you have to be more going against the course. Yeah, but you're still going to get somebody who end the court in the. No, in, uh, but but here, tennis. here. Every week when you tee off for a major, you got 100 plus people you have to beat, including the course. Serena only has to beat one person across from her at a time. So oh, there, is a, there, there is a there there is a difference. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying there is a difference. Someone also in the nine five four. My vote is Serena due to the end of their career. Serena was fighting Ooh. to still be a major. Tiger's been struggling to make cuts. Tiger impact is slightly broader. Hey man, nobody told you to. You know what I mean? Crash the car. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, hey. Do we do we count that too? Yeah, we do. Do, do off the the field or off the. No, 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 no. Let's keep it. Let's keep it within the field. But, you know what I'm saying? I mean, then, but it affected his on-field play. Huh? Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, so you know what? Again, for Jay Fig's nomination for the text messages, I know we're gonna be split on this, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna give Serena the nod. Tiger Woods probably deserved it as well, but sometimes you know the better team doesn't win. Whoever wins that night is who ends up advancing. Says the guy who says the Dolphins were more of a failure than. <laughs> oh, by the way, I went back. Ravens started that season three and two, and the ESPN preseason rankings had the Miami Dolphins as the sixth best team in the league. The Ravens all the way down at eight. Closer than I thought. Yeah, but Philly was number one. 
No, preseason rankings? Let yeah. me see. I got the list up. Number one was Kansas City. Number two was Philly. Three, the Bengals. Totally missed with that one. Uh, 49ers, number four. Bills, number five. Okay. Uh, boys, number were seven. the Bills more of a failure? Uh, were the Bills – I'll say the Bills' regular season – started off rocky but they were able to pull it together and win the afc east so i don't know if i consider that a failure they still prove that they're our daddy and they still lost to their daddy so i mean same old same for the bills uh okay now continuing with the first round in this division we've only done two (laughs) this is crazy uh roger federer these these are going to be a little bit easier i think roger federer or lewis hamilton Roger Federer, come on, man. Yeah, I think that one's uh, What do you think of that one? Oh, Lewis Hamilton's on. not even the best driver. Is Lewis Hamilton better than Michael Schumacher? He's won more. Yes. Who's a Michael? He's won Michael more Schumacher? championships than anybody. Go look at. Oh, my goodness. You guys. Schumacher, are- yo, Schumacher's Schumacher. dominance is unbelievable. Go look at Lewis Hamilton's until two years Yeah, what about Max? Yeah, we, you know what? Max Verstappen just came in and smacking the living crap out of Lewis Hamilton. Okay, but right somebody now. did it. Nobody to Schumacher smacked also. Michael Schumacher when Schumacher was running things. Okay, I'm going with the- Schumacher is 55. Okay, so he already had his run. Is what you're saying? Yeah, his run was just ridiculous. What what are, what are the F1 things called? Like you know, football is like the Super Bowl or whatever. What do I say? The most he just blank. won the F1 most F1 titles. Most F1 titles. Most, F1 titles. most yeah. Formula One. T- most Formula One titles. Most F1 titles in league history. Well, in Formula One. Oh, hold on. Lewis oh. Hamilton won like five times the amount. What do you? Lewis think? Hamilton and Michael Schumacher had the joint most world championships. So what are we doing here? And then seven what's happening? Seven each, right? And then what's happening? What's happening now? Max Max Verstappen. You, you but can't that happened. Wait, 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 wait. You know that happened to Schumacher also, right? Somebody yeah, came in. Got hurt. I think oh. got hurt. He got in an accident. It was rough okay. Today. Here's the thing. Yeah, they both. You know seven. what? Lewis no, Hamilton is not on this list. And he's not even on the list. Lewis Hamilton is switching teams. And he's switching teams because he's been losing. No, because he's, he's, he's been trained. Yeah, but that, that isn't the question. The question is Lewis Hamilton or Federer? Federer. Well, <laughs> somebody passed up Federer, right? No. Uh, no, I, no I, maybe the yeah. dog has. It's still no, but we're comparing those two. I'm going uh, Federer. What's his name? No. Jo- uh, jo- uh, Djokovic or Nadal? Djokovic. He has 20 major titles. How right. many does Djokovic have? Djokovic have. Joker, Joker might have nine. Really? 19, no. 19, I'm talking about. 19 or 20. Major titles. I don't even know how to spell Djokovic. Uh, third, never mind. Uh, oh, my God. Grand, 24 Grand Slam nah, titles. No, nah. no. So, okay. no. So, again. Uh, okay. No. So, that he's done. That's uh. the way you put it. He's done. Uh. He got passed up. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Hey, all right, so Lewis Hamilton wins this round. Wow. Lewis Hamilton it. doesn't win this round, but if no, he wins but, this round, Lewis matching. Hamilton wins yeah. this round. If you're going by that, okay. All okay. Right, look, he wins this. Lewis Hamilton, that's crazy. I didn't expect that one coming. I, I, I still take Federer, but I mean, okay. by, if I'm using my. my uh, you're a tennis bias my, guy. Dude. No, I it's not even tennis that. bias because I could say Federer stopped playing like the last three years while Hamilton's been Lewis going Hamilton's the last still three years. still going. And he hasn't won. In, in a, what? In a year? No, in three. Oh, three. Max three years. Oh, my goodness. Understand, every oh, weekend wow. we do a show and we're doing headlines, and every time we say the winning, guess who gets the name that we say every weekend after I'm, a four okay. one race? Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Okay, how many, Max, how many times does he have? Favorite how many when, times when, does he have? How many times does he have? He might have the last three. Who, who Max? Go, Max Verstappen. Go. He might have the last three, but he ain't close to Lewis Hamilton. So well, you got, until you then, got three, you're halfway there, and you're young. He has uh, he had he won? No, I think yeah, I think he has three, and then he won the last two, 2022, 2023. Come on, B. He has what five. We doing here? Actually, no. He yeah, after winning ten Grand Prix during the 2021 season, he became the F1 champion for the first time, and he won the next two. So he's won the last three. Yeah, 2021, yeah. 2022. He's still four short. Still he's halfway there. Oh, so wait. And he's young. Okay. So Still until sure. he gets there, we're talking about right he's now. Halfway there. We're talking about right now. Right, right now. now. Halfway there. Right, right, right now, Lewis Hamilton's still to go. Mahomes is not Brady. Not yet. Right. Exactly. He's halfway there. So that's what I'm saying. No, halfway oh, is Lewis. not there. I, my until, I like the guy until, who has a longer wait, run. Until until a next longer year. Rain. Here. You know what I'm saying? Until, I like the guy who had a longer reign. Roger passes, Federer had a longer reign. Until he passes Lewis Hamilton, right? Lewis Hamilton's reign is not over. 
These are supposed to be the easy ones, guys. Okay, go. Keep going. Next Keep going. one. Tom Brady, Tony Hawk. Come on, man. Tom Brady. No, oh, you guys are a whole lot. You guys Tom are Tony, yeah. Tony Tom Hawk. Brady. Dude, Tony Hawk, that was like a 16 seed versus Tony, 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 Tony Hawk. He could be Brady Hawk. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, bro. That, dude, dude, this was a 116 seed. This was a 116 matchup. Get out rough. of here. That was rough. That, it, oh, listen, wow. if you're listening, Tony Hawk. Just like in everything in Brady always gets the easy ones, huh? He always gets the easy ones in the <laughs> yeah. first round. Look hey, at that. Based off the matchups, those are maybe the easiest ones. I'm not going to let you. Go. Uh, next one we got. This one is a probably a, probably the second easiest right here. Conor McGregor. Is he a GOAT? I think he's a UFC GOAT. Mm-hmm. Conor McGregor. John Jones is probably the GOAT, right? Yeah. Either way, you can take any one of these bastards. They're losing to whoever he's up against right now. Or Usain Bolt. Usain, Usain. Bolt. Got to be Usain Bolt. Fastest yeah. man to ever live. Yes. That one's easy. That's easy. He used to run uh, slower so he could get the bonus. <laughs> right? <laughs> Seriously. He no, used he, to run slower in championships so he could beat his record and get the million-dollar bonus for beating the record. All right. So now these next three, keep in mind, we have we have a radio show with with, with You time. brought this up, El, yeah, El, El, El Dovino. <laughs> All right. For the final three in round one to advance to our bracket, Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali? Muhammad Ali. Ali. Ronaldo or Messi? See, that's, that's, that's. Which, wait, wait, wait. Which Ronaldo? Good point. Cristiano. Okay, that's all right. That's tough, bro. I can't. We can't. Uh, like, if, you if I say what I want to say, Messi, Messi people going to hate me. You know what? Out, I'm going to say it. You better watch out. What? CR7. Whoa! <laughs> uh, in Miami, you're going to say I'm that? Say it. I'm going to say it. I look at it, if you saw Disgusting. Ronaldo when he started, he yeah. was such an all-around player when he was at Man U. Yep. That when he became, that when he went to uh, Real. Real Madrid and, yeah. and La Liga, he didn't have to be that because there was so much talent around him that he just became a goal scorer, and he's just one of the greatest goal scorers ever. The guy's um, in phenomenal shape. He's won many cups. I know everybody loves Messi because there's a thing. We we all like someone who looks relatable to us. He's a little look guy. At Ronaldo. Ronaldo you look at Ronaldo, you think, come on, if a guy's got model looks, he's got a, you know. A, see, but that's why I think Messi's the GOAT. Though, physique, right? that is crazy. Yeah, Messi looks like a guy that you can see down the street. But yet we still talk about him. Like but he's, he's just unbelievable because he is that, an that unbelievable athlete. That- can we, can we, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Messi for all the reasons you talked about. Like, I think it's more of a success, success, a success story Ooh. when you don't necessarily look the part. But I'm That's not I'm knocking saying. you if you look but the I'm part. Not, right. But I'm not right. But I'm not doing what hey, you're doing. But but I'm not. I don't want to penalize Ronaldo for looking the part and, and playing the part. That's you what, see what I'm saying. saying? <laughs> Who are you more impressed by, John Stockton? Messi, or oh, somebody said Messi has more titles and accolades on the world stage. Uh, he has the World Cup title, and he needed oh. that. But uh, Portugal got the Euro. Listen, the ring though, he's got the Euro, the and Euro? gets and and you know what? Yeah. Nobody got more champion leagues than Ronaldo. What about I, I mean, the uh, teams, what about the what is it called the Ballon the Ballon d'Or? Yeah. Ballon Ballon d'Or. I, Messi's got him, but that's also not. See, here's the thing: not to and this is not to knock him. Like Messi doesn't deserve it. Every year he did, yeah. but so did. Ronaldo. It's almost like the LeBron or when Jordan. Sometimes you just don't want to give it to that guy just by the way he treats uh, the media. But he got more. The facts are the facts. But he got more. But I mean, that, that, right. the thing, you know messy. what I'm saying? You're making my I, point. You know, I got Messi. Look, this is this is, this is is the, the matchup between Messi and Ronaldo in regards to awards. The Ballon d'Or, yeah. which is just some gold ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, Messi 8, Ronaldo 5. Mm-hmm. FIFA World Player of the Year, Messi 8, Ronaldo 5. European Golden Shoe, Messi 6, Ronaldo 4. Other individual awards, the FIFA World Cup Golden Ball, Lionel Messi. Uh, you know Two, what? Two, Ronaldo 0. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to envy argue, my argument with Ronaldo. Okay. He's won in Premier. Yeah. La Liga. Europe. Yep. Champions. But can he do it in the MLS? Come on, man! <laughs> Hey, so, real yeah, this is, hey, this is another one where we ain't gonna get <laughs> dude. He's played the two best leagues and he's won. We here's here's the deal. 
we ain't gonna sit here and get in a fist fight. No, no, nah, hell no. Because nah, you got nah, mad nah, respect nah. for the other guy. Nah, 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 nah. Right? We ain't it's gonna, not one of those. This nah, is nah. not where we're making a stand on life. Nah, this, I'm not dying so, on the hill on this, this one. Right, right. <laughs> so I'm right. not dying on the hill on this one. So messy so it is. Moving. If you want to put Messi, fine. I just, I'm just, yes. I made the argument for Ronaldo, but I yes, have no problem. And you with valid argument, that. valid argument. Messi it is. Now, this is the final one. They've had this one. We've talked about this ad nauseum at this point. So for the final matchup of round one, LeBron James or Michael Jordan? They're two different players. Absolutely. But I guess, listen, as a, as, a, as a LeBron guy, right, watching those six championships firsthand, right, and watching what this man did on a basketball court against whoever was in front of him, is something I can't unsee. And as great as LeBron has been, right, I'm not even counting the championships. I'm just going by what I have seen. I'm going to go with Jordan. But I will say this. As far as size and dominance and, and just sheer, just when you look at him on a basketball court, you are amazed still to this day at some of the things he does. It's LeBron all day. And with that said, this is why I hate this argument. If you I, pick LeBron, I ain't going to be mad at you. No, uh, here's the thing. I know the correct answer, actually. Here's the thing. Yeah. And you said it. If I go by consistency and longevity, it's LeBron. LeBron. It's LeBron. Right. But if I'm going dominance, it's and when I when you say dom, it's the the here, way that dominance was can I, happening. Can I say this though? Because I can say Bron has been dominating for a decade but, plus, but that domination by Mike was. Here's, can I say this? Can I say this? LeBron, I mean Jordan, has never got a bunch of scrubs to an NBA final like LeBron did. Hmm. And if that's not an indication of how dominant one guy can be. Then I don't know what it is. You that's see what, what I'm saying? saying? Right? Like, no, I know. It's been 20 I'm a LeBron years of guy. Dominance. I'm it's a been LeBron 20 guy. Years of dominance. I'm but a LeBron guy. But but here's the you deal. You were born in the 80s, right? And you saw Michael 91 Jordan. to 98, right? Right. That, but it was to to be able to be this good for this long has to mean something. And that's the thing. Like Hope said, there's never been a this good for this long you know what i'm saying and 21 years and you're and still you're talking still, about and wait and they still talking about lebron as lebron goes the lakers go 21 years into it 40 they didn't do, points hey they didn't do that kareem. with kareem they didn't do that with kareem kareem played and a long you know time and when you did come back and i know he never took a pause b you took the, my man took two pauses right yep. he took two breaks like you talking about dominance from 2011 to 2018. He went you to could 10 automatically, finals. You could automatically finals. type in LeBron James' team in the NBA Finals. He went to and 10 straight one finals. Year, and think about this. He went, and, and, and keep in mind, LeBron, I mean, uh, Jordan, won all his championships with three or four of the Hall of Famers. Who is going to be a Hall of Fame besides D Wade, Chris Bosh, who, who, and Ray Allen? When he was and with Ray the Allen's Heat, Ray Allen. Allen. Who else is going to be a Hall of Famers? Kevin Love, Anthony Davis. Yeah, but um, he, didn't, he, didn't play, he didn't play with it. He didn't play with Kevin Love at that time. Well, he played with Love in Cleveland, but he didn't when play he went with back, him, he right? Miami, he ain't played a substantial amount of time. But you see what I'm and, saying? And LeBron did more with the less. Title in a weird, in one of the weirdest. Way seven coming back time. from three, coming back from three one, three one against a team that won 73 team to 73 and games. The bubble. I don't care what anybody says, people want to clown the bubble title. Nah, bro, we were doing we were life was different back then, the world was different, yeah. And we they gave us entertainment. I don't know about you, but being stuck in Disney World ain't the greatest thing to do for three months if you don't have kids and you're not able to talk to other people. Y'all said a lot of good things. I'm but... going with Braun, okay. I was gonna say I need to answer. <laughs> I'm going with Bron. Bron, Leroy, I'm going with Bron. Um, Who you got? 
He go. He got Jordan. He got. I picked Jordan, but for the purposes of this argument, I'm a. I'm a agree. With I'm him. going Bron. I'm sorry. I'm it's Ron. tough. Bron James advances to the second round, and this isn't recency bias either, because I. It, no. This is hard for me to do, even though you guys know how much I love LeBron. Leroy, this is how. This is how great Mike was, and this is how great LeBron is. It's been. For the last 20 years, we still we we can recall a LeBron highlight and everything. There's a generation of people that haven't seen Mike play. Right. That you know, there's a generation of people. So you grandchildren, you, you know what I'm saying? Little nieces and nephews, they never saw Mike play. They still see Bron. And that's it. Like that's all they know at over the last 10 years. It's been Bron and stuff. Right. All right, we got more of the second and final rounds of the bracket. But before we go to break, Leroy, can you tell me about Live Golf? Golf's boldest league is coming back to Miami from Friday, April 5th to Sunday, April 7th. And now's your chance to be there. Catch Live Golf at Doral's Blue Monster and see John Rahm, Brooks Kepka, and Dustin Johnson take on one of the world's most fearsome golf courses with live DJs and a euphoric headline concert. Tickets are selling fast, so grab yours now at livegolf.com. That's livgolf.com. This hour of Tobin and Leroy is sponsored by Miami Lakes Auto Mall.
Welcome back to the Tobin and Leroy Show. Uh, it is a spring break edition of the show. We've been having a lot of fun today. We were able to talk to Tommy Tig earlier of the Miami Heat. And now we get blessed with the presence of Hello, Hello Jennifer. Jennifer. Hello. J Fig, how have you been enjoying our March Madness goat bracket? Um, I thought you guys were talking about Leroy Madness because mm. he's soon to pop some <laughs> baby aspirin. Yeah, I mean, I may or may not have thrown him under the bus in the first hour of the show when talking to Tommy Ty. I can't remember, you know, my memory is very foggy. It's just a lot of things going on. A little mm-hmm. frog brain, can't really think too much. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's but I do great. like this game. I do like this game. It is, you know, a little, a little bit different. A little bracket. Uh, yeah, right. In in honor of March Madness, everyone has the goat debate. But uh, very rarely do you have the goat of goats. I did notice something in the goat bracket that I was kind of disappointed by. There's no NFL uh, entries in that. Yes, you do. You have Brady. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I apologize. <laughs> How do you not know your own bracket? He has oh, a small frog internet. brain. That's why. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant more like, why the hell is Jerry Rice or Jim Brown not there? Or maybe even Deion Sanders. But, uh, because well, it's hard to do Deion Sanders in a list that has numbers behind it. Yeah. You see what I mean? Because he That's just, fair. yeah. Because we know, you know he's probably the best cornerback to ever play the game. But yeah. there's nothing. But he was a game changer. Yes, but there's nothing as far as numbers that I can put on that other than saying I saw him and I played against him and I know. Yeah. Right. Fair. That's so when you're trying to make this list, that's hard to to yeah, the numbers have to bat, yeah, because numbers, right. especially when you're talking about that's why it's not gonna be a whole bunch, than, there's not yeah, gonna be a whole bunch of defensive guys on it. No, when you're talking about somebody being better or the best at something, you need the numbers to back up your argument. Man right. lie, women lie, numbers don't. Well, Thus far, what I'm looking at for the second round, we do have some tough matchups as we continue on with our March Madness, determining who is the GOAT of GOATs. Uh, You guys want to get into the second round? Sure. Sure. All right. So now, based off the matchups that we picked, let's start off with Gretzky versus Serena. This is what's tough with some of your 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 because at least with Tiger and Serena, it was yeah. individual sports, right? Yeah. Now you're talking about one person who's the best in her sport against a guy who's considered best in his sport, but he needed other guys. Like mm. what's great about there, Gretzky is not only he could score. There's, there's your answer. There's the answer. Yeah, but you there's yeah. Answer then. Yeah, that's why it's not fair, but it's not fair, but I'm going Serena. Yeah. Wow. Brought hockey to America. It's not enough for you. Brought hockey to but, America. But here, you want, you want but, he, but dynasty in Edmonton? Here, mm. here, here's the deal, Marco. Who had a better? Okay, who had more Marcos, of an impact? Here's, here's, mm. here's, here's, here's the crazy thing. Yeah. It's the same argument we just got into with Tiger. Yeah, and, and Serena. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you can't then use the same argument that Tiger lost with, and use Gretzky. So Serena, uh, Serena so Serena's been, gonna win again. There you go. Now, Lewis Hamilton, another individual sport, kind of, versus Tom Brady. No, it's Brady. Brady? Brady. <laughs> Brady. Why? They both have seven championships. It's Brady. Why is it Brady, though? Because he's playing the, the hardest damn sport in the freaking world. But he's it's playing. hard to drive he's those play, cars. He's, he's, play, he's, play, he's playing a team sport. Uh, guess what? Yeah. That's a team sport because the boys don't put the tires right and get that fuel oh. in. He's messed up. Then he's not a good mechanic. No, he no. Be working. You saw how you see how quick those guys are. This yeah. is a team sport. Don't try to make it individual. So, so yeah. you still and, going, and, still and, and he it, gets it, and hard. he's getting uh, advice in um through the headset. Yeah, nah, Tom Brady. Brady, baby. What advice is he getting? Um, Put your pedal to the metal. Watch out for the guy to your left. He's coming by. Hey, hey listen, here's the deal. The fuel is getting short. It, you here's might the deal. Come in. Get out of here. He's a I'm great not, here. Keep in mind. 
you are trying to compare a guy that does a European sport with a guy who does the most popular sport in America. Hmm. You're not going to win that battle, even though you can make some arguments, right? Yeah. Tom, Lewis Hamilton <laughs> is not going to beat Tom Brady. All right, I don't Tom care Brady. how much you hate Tom Brady. Yeah, man, it's Tom Brady, bro. Tom Brady advances with another easy round. Anyone surprised there? Not easy. I mean, listen, you want to compare? One had Giselle, the other one had um Shakira. Shakira. Also, Shakira no one's fighting for and, Tom Brady. Uh, Nicole. She had Nicole. He had Nicole from uh, the wannabe uh, Spice Girls group. Oh, I don't talk about. Yeah, Nicole Scherheiser, whatever. Yeah, name. shorts yeah. of shorts. Of... Whatever. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Like... Yeah, whatever that 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 the cat dolls. Yeah. Yes. yes, 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 yes. The please, Uncle Sam, say yes, cat dolls. Please, Uncle yeah. Sam. Next question. Next bracket. Yeah. Messi Wait. or Usain Bolt? Whew. Whew. That one's rough. It's can messy. Just, it's messy. Can I, messy. No, it's messy. here. Can I just say this? For his Olympic argument, it has to be messy. It has to be messy because if I, yes, if I did, if I used that against Michael Phelps when he went against Michael, or when he every, went against, but, but, but he's got world championships too. He ran every year. True, world championships do mean a thing. Okay, so this this actually will probably help determine it. We know that Usain Bolt is the best runner of all time, best sprinter of all time. Not Correct. talking about those Kenyans Correct. that can run. Correct. Correct. Best sprinter of all time. <laughs> but, <Yeah. laughs> but <laughs> is Messi. <laughs> it's Messi. The we greatest soccer her. player of all time. Here's what I would say. Let me let me get this one. Yes. There is dispute whether Messi is the best soccer player of all time. That's true. There is no dispute. If you say Bolt is the best sprinter, Bolt is the best sprinter. That's true. That so, is true. Because you can so say, how, uh, how do you how do you go down? How, how do we do Pele. that? Right. But no one is saying anyone. I would say Pele maybe had a bigger impact on American soccer than Messi. Yeah, man. yeah. Pele had a big impact, and yeah. Pele, and plus Pele is still part of the greatest dynasty in football. You know, because Brazil right. won. With two, so, three uh, World Cups yeah. in a row. I just like his name better. Uh, and that's the thing, Pele. Yeah, the, you, so, you know how we do the numbers. Yeah, Pele winning that many World Cups. I've never seen hey, Pele play. Why do so, I know his name? He's great because he's like it's like Babe Ruth. It's, you just right. know this. this so, Babe Ruth play. so here's the deal. It's got. See, it's got to. It's got to be you saying. <laughs> no, 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 laugh at that. <laughs> Give yourself, give yourself a point. Give yourself a point. Give yourself a point. I, I don't got to we, we got to get a Vlad point. Hey, point, point hey, for so back here, here's the deal. Something like that. Here's the deal. If you have the, that many questions whether Messi is the best soccer player, we have yeah, they, definitive no question. proof that Usain Bolt is the best sprinter. Usain Bolt moves forward. Wow, he got me. And what I like to think as an upset, Usain Bolt. Yeah, he Usain Bolt. The next yeah, round. he got he got me. He got me. This was going to be hard too, as well, gentlemen. This will be the last one, NJ Fig. This will be the last one before we go to break. And I'm actually going to give this one to Jay Fig to start. Okay. LeBron oh. or Muhammad Ali? Oh, come on, man. Hey, LeBron would say Muhammad Ali. LeBron, LeBron would say LeBron Muhammad Ali. And he'd be wrong. No. They let, both have the same amount of losses. You, you have to understand this. What Muhammad Ali did. Inside the ring doesn't even compare to Bring what he up. did outside the ring right. and right. what he sacrificed. Because keep in mind, if he had keep kept fighting, he would have all of the numbers. But he gave up his belt because he wouldn't go to Vietnam. Yes, but in the same, using your argument from the last round, oh. I think there's a couple boxers that we could potentially... Maybe it's a goat. Maybe it's not the goat. In the heavyweight division, who? Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Balboa. Kick <laughs> Joe Lewis' <laughs> ass. What? No, no, what? No, that's a good one. What is wrong with you? What? Jack Johnson. So, so Floyd so, Mayweather. So, so are we going? So, so are we going? Are we going to do? Are we going to do that then? And then, then that means it's we got to go. No, here's the thing though. Because how many? Are, how many you, are better than LeBron? We put LeBron over the best. We actually decided LeBron was the best basketball player because we put him over Michael Jordan. 
So LeBron is the premier basketball player. Is Muhammad Ali the best boxer of all? Now time? I will say this: I can't what? say Bob, I can't say Muhammad Ali is the best boxer of all right. time. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Yep. Where LeBron is going, there is no threat of anybody going there. Right for twenty years. Yeah. Oh, what that forty thousand points? Right. Right. Oh, right. Come on, man. But. There could be somebody to come out that win a bunch of championships. But, see, I look at Muhammad Ali more for his impact so then off outside the boxing. So if we only include boxing, I'm going to go LeBron. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah we're not going outside. We're going Muhammad you're... Ali, the person, and his impact on the world is Muhammad Ali. Right. So there. So we got to go then, LeBron. We got to go LeBron. We're we're LeBron. LeBron. Also, for the record, LeBron has also had a nice global impact. That's well. the thing. And, and if we were going to do that, if if you were doing that in the comparison with Jordan in the last round, that yeah. would have given him the edge. So yeah, if we're yeah, doing I'm that, sure. that's, you know, yes. All right, but we're so talking about LeBron. what they do. We, hey. What they do. Hey. It's I love tough, how you bro. guys we break talk, it all we, down in different. We, no, but we yeah. talked ourselves into, we, like, real. We are consistent. We are, we are consistent. We're not going to have one point for one person and then. When's another? Uh, Even though Marcos tried to do it. Oh, I was, yeah, I would do that all the time. Now we got to be consistent. So yeah, so like, LeBron moves on. All right, so LeBron moves on. So the what's the final four? The final four. I'm not going to tell you the seating because the matchups are going to be. Uh, it doesn't matter about seating. All right, so it is Tom Brady, Serena Williams. Usain Bolt and LeBron James. I ain't gonna lie, that, that's a good, that's a pretty damn good final four. <laughs> <That is built. laughs> final four. Can I just say something though? There is no one there who's like you know an old timer. There's no old school whatever. Is this a? a are we victims of recency bias? No, no we because... tried to. We tried to. I tried to put Jordan in there. I tried to put Muhammad Ali in there, but the conversation yep. led us elsewhere. You know what? No one mentioned Oyster Burns. Has anyone mentioned Oyster <laughs> Burns? <as well? laughs> Leroy, can you tell us about Kozar Coffee before we go to break, sir? You guys all know Bernie. Great U of M uh, football player. Won a championship. Won a championship with Dallas. Uh, but Bernie is known for his comebacks. Not only his comebacks on the field, but his greatest comeback is the one he made with his health. After a grueling career, 40 surgeries, over 100 concussions, Bernie was down, but not out. He realized food is medicine and change what he put into his body. So he started creating wellness products and has finally released Kosar Coffee, an organic coffee that's infused with vitamin D and resveratrol, which is nature's miracle antioxidant. Uh, a lot of us are short on vitamin D, so you ought to look into that. This combination of ingredients is exclusive to Kosar Coffee and is a perfect way to start your own journey into a healthier life. Just go to KosarCoffee.com. To not only order your game-changing coffee, but also get some Kosar Coffee merchandise. I have a sweatshirt and a shirt. And if you go and use code Leroy, you can get an exclusive discount for our listeners. You guys know Bernie. He's a very positive guy. He believes you deserve to be healthy because you matter.
Show pony. Well, Marco says, you know, Tobino. El Tobino is being El Tobino. Because the music is so loud. You can't talk. What's up, dogs? How's everyone doing? There you go. There Welcome you back go. to the Tobin and Leroy Show, Spring Break Edition. Uh, it wouldn't be the Tobin and Leroy Show, Spring Break Edition, if we weren't murdering the clock at any opportunity that we had. To make up for this, I have something for you guys. You're going to be very, very happy about this. Marlins fans, we are giving you a chance to see the Marlins open their season against the Pirates at Lone Depot Park on March 28th. That is a Thursday. Keep listening to us for details. And as a matter of fact, you know what? Leroy, give me a number one through ten. I'm going to go four since we're on the final four. We are on the final four, so caller number four, you can start lining it up, 305-567-0560. Caller four will be given a family four-pack of tickets for opening day. Whatever you have planned for that day, whether it's work, whether it's school, whether it's surgery, whether it's anything, your, your communion, you got a wedding that day, cancel it. Doesn't matter. Go to opening. You know what? Get married at the ballpark. Meet us at the secret bar. I'll buy you a drink, but only if it's happy hour. I don't know. Can I throw your first pitch? Yeah, you know what, Vlad? You could throw the first pitch at the wedding. At the couple? <laughs> Whoa, well, that's my job. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Jay Fig okay, is Jay Fig? the honorary. She seems don't, like she's best, so. Don't steal uh, my... Yeah, so caller number four, you will get those tickets. Keep lining them up. When we come back on the other side here, I know it was a short segment here, but like I said, we murder clocks around here. Well, everyone's in a meeting. Who, who cares? All right, I'm looking at Len right now. Len, do you care? Yeah, he wants to talk to me. Yeah, he does care. I didn't think he was going to care. Uh, again, when we come back, we have damages done. We have the final four of our goat of goat brackets. And something tells me we may or may not hear from Tommy Tig again. That is lined up right here on the Tobin Leroy Show on 560 WQAM.
No, it is not Saturday. It is Tuesday. Right here on the Tobin and Leroy Show. Uh, bring break edition, so it feels like a Saturday. It's going to feel like that all week. We got our boy Alex Dono. Uh, he'll be in tomorrow. He'll be in Friday. Leroy will be out Friday. It's a, it's a, we got all of our starting lineup. But you know, like like Ed Spo says, we have enough. All right? We have enough. As long as El uh, Tobino has something to do with it. You know, you know, the boys out here contributing for getting his takes and then getting boxed in the next segment. Solid. <laughs> Not even the uh, next segment. You're aggressive. Wow. I don't, I don't want to talk to you when you're this way. <laughs> Uh, these headlines are brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Supercenter. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know trucks. Vlad, anyone get those tickets? Yes, they did. Who was it? You remember? Uh, yes, I do. His name was David uh, Lyuno. David, what's his social? I'm not giving him social. <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, 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 no. I just wanted to see. <laughs> just wanted to see. Uh, I got him fired here. <laughs> The Miami Dolphins, they added some offensive line help with the signing of Jack Driscoll. Uh, we have been kind of tweaking our offensive line there, restructuring Armstead. We brought back Isaiah Wynn. And uh, this is another addition right here. Uh, Jack Driscoll, he gave up one sack last year for the Eagles. Didn't really play that much, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. It's fine. You know, I'll take that. We need all the depth we can at the offensive line. I mean, sometimes... When your team has a really good offensive line, yeah, and I and I'll give you a perfect example. When I was in Minnesota, um, we had a hell of an offensive line, right? Yep. And behind those guys were guys like uh, you remember uh, Matt Burke, who ended up being a, a yep. pretty damn good center. Pretty good. Um, and we had a couple of other linemen that end up being starters. So in today's, you know, today's landscape of football, yeah. those guys probably won't get the opportunity. They would get plucked. Yeah, right? that's kind of that's kind of how it that's kind of how it works. Where you're in waiting, but somebody will sign you, so you can play right away. You might not get the money that you would as a starter, but you're gonna yeah. get more money than you would for backing up that offensive line who's pretty good. And that's yeah, kind of really how they're going about it. Him. So you think of the Eagles, what their offensive line has been over the years, over the last few years, and they've been pretty good. So I I see the the idea of yeah. it. Um, but it's still like again, I had questions about the offensive line last offseason. And I was like, why wouldn't we sign anybody? Why wouldn't we do this? Why wouldn't we do that? The offensive line was pretty good, right? So I'm going to just sit back and and allow these guys to cook because, again, Chris Greer and that offense, they have history with me when it comes to the offensive line. I'm not going to pass any judgments without seeing them play first. Yeah, the only thing that they suffered, obviously, was with health and uh, bringing in someone like Driscoll. He's played... Uh, he's almost like the role of the sixth man for the Eagles. He's had, he started in 17 games over his four year tenure over there. And, uh, they've been at every position he's played I, here, snap a tackle guard center. So. None at center, actually okay. none at so, center, so, but both tackles. So that means both probably guys. in college, he was probably a, a tackle, Yeah, but this yeah. is how, this is how you work this because a lot of times they'll bring in guards that can also play center. Yeah. And so you might have two or the two or three of those guys that can go guard center and you just play them at those three positions. And and then you try to if you have a, a tackle you bring in that doesn't work out a tackle, you move him inside. So they like there's a plan. I can see it. I just without knowing anything about these guys, I can't tell you if it's a work, if it'll work or not. Time now for an inner Miami update sponsored by Kettle One. Kettle One Vodka made to cocktail uh, your inter Miami herons. 
are back at it again this Saturday against the New York Red Bulls at 2 p.m. The New York Red Bulls will be traveling down here to Chase Stadium. Uh, Messi, though, still still on the mend, if you will. He is suffered an injury during the CONCACAF uh, tournament, which is still going on, but resumes again in April for the first leg of the quarterfinals. In the meantime, Leo Messi has been ruled out of Argentina friendlies just because of his injury that he sustained during his run with Inter Miami. So he's going to be out for quite some time, but it's okay. He's still got Suarez. I got to tell you. Yeah. It sounded like he was trying to get out of those Argentina friendlies. <laughs> I would have doubted it, dude. I would have doubted it, man. Based <laughs> hey, off of all hey, the... Hey, you, the first bit of that news is he has been eliminated from all Argentinian friendlies. I'm yeah. Like, mm, when like that's the first thing... That's when that's the first thing stated. That means he just wanted to keep his ass in Miami. Right. The weather's nice. Right. He's having fun. Yeah, I'm staying. I don't want to be playing no serious game. Well, I'll tell you what. I think he's trying to avoid any sort of international games after his last stint in Hong Kong, where he skipped it last minute. And fans now, after booing and demanding a refund, have all been refunded 50%. So they're looking at seven point one million dollars in in uh, refunded money from his last time that he decided to sit out. So now he's like, "Look, guys, I have an injury. Don't even anticipate me being there. I'm gonna be out." And that's good, all right. Because if you're gonna be playing for anyone, it better be here in Fort Lauderdale. Now we've been talking well, about he it really is El Tobino. Yeah, I mean it's the least he can do. Bum. No, I'm kidding. He's a goat. He's a guy. <laughs> he talked about this. He talked about this. We had him in our in our bracket, which we've been debating ferociously for quite some time now. So let's get to the final four in honor of March Madness. This is something, if you're just joining us, we've been talking about for a couple segments today. We've done a bracket to honor March Madness. This bracket consists of goats of goats. We've gotten to the final four, which is LeBron James, Usain Bolt, Serena Williams and Tom Brady. Are you guys ready for the quarterfinal? Yep. Well, the semis, but go ahead. Don't semis. even. Is it? Yeah, because the last one would be the final. Yes. Well, quarter though, four. <laughs> Crazy. Why quarter would be that? eight. Quarter, but I don't even understand. All right. Uh, Tom Brady <laughs> facing off in round whatever versus Serena Williams. Wow. Tough matchup. Tough well, matchup. This is definitely Tom Brady's toughest matchup of the bracket. Though. Yes, he's had an it's easy. It's not tough because easy. I know what you guys are going to choose. No. It's going to be Serena. Well, we know what you're going to choose. It's Serena. It's Serena. It's, it's Serena for this reason. He's going to choose Brady. For this, this, is what, this is what I would say. No. This is what I would say. <laughs> if yeah. you're going to give Tom Brady all the credit for those championships and not give Bill Belichick any credit, right? Yeah. If Bill B Belichick gets any of the credit, and you got to give him credit on the last one they went against Seattle because mm -hmm. of the defensive play he called at the end. No, the Rams one was the last one. Right? Was that the Rams one? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm talking about the one against – remember the one against Seattle when they got the pick? Oh, yeah, the Malcolm yeah. Butler play, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so that means that there was others involved in Tom Brady's championship. There's no other. That's true. Involved There's no one involved. Following in my theory, and right? That's the theory. The individual right. sport. The individual sport. But last time, last time, Tom Brady's uh, strength was, or like his his, you know, legend was enough to defeat another individual sport athlete. That's not true. Was, then he lost. Hamilton. No, because no, he beat Lewis Hamilton. But remember? Lewis Hamilton is not really. I mean, as much as we look at it as an individual sport, he does need a team. You're not going to tell me a guy who changes tires is a part of my team. Then in that Ooh. case, without that guy changing your tires, yeah, okay, you're I effed. Well, then change the sport. Everyone change your own damn time. Because, you know what? It's crazy. You need then, fuel, don't you? Then the water boy who gave Tom Brady water also deserves a ring. No, he wasn't throwing no passes. He wasn't no throwing no passes. And how about how about the guy that deflated the balls? He deserves a ring. The guy who changes the cleats, <laughs> no. he deserves a ring. The All right. videographer. All right. Videographer deserves and this a has ring. Nothing. I am going to go with Serena. Okay. And, and, and it's not a knock on Tom it's just that there's other people who played a role in his championships whatever whatever you want to believe you like because keep in mind his first championship they won in spite of him right he yeah. was young so so 
there's more and more stories throughout his championship run where that applies. But Serena, if she have an average day, she can't win. Tom Brady have an average day. He has still won some championships. Yeah, so that's fair. I'm going Serena. Serena, Serena. and Jay Fig, who do you got? Tom Brady or Serena? You know she's going to my girl Serena. Uh, you see, you see how she had to go with my girl Serena. My girl yeah. Serena. See how we look at you. Girl, wait, wait, wait. Can I say this? Jay Fig, if you want her to be treated as an elite athlete, regardless of male or female, then stop yeah. treating and her like a girl. That's what you guys were doing. That's what no, it was. And we, and we never, no. not once we looked at Serena. Other Just because than I said my girl athlete. Serena, relax. Relax. Can't say that you see. No, you see. Uh, look at that. I, I mean, didn't mention I can go. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just go back into the chat at 12 11? Oh. Women go unnoticed yeah, every day. That's exactly. exactly. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? She has an agenda. But am no. I wrong? Did, have we have we ever at any I'm point in this time? Never stop. Hey, have we not at every point of this bracket? Treated Serena anything other than an elite athlete. The last athlete. time I recall, I wrote that because mm. Vlad had mentioned something. Oh. What did I mention? And that was All my about Tiger? response to him. What did I mention? You said Tiger Woods. Something. Yes, uh -huh. it was. was better than Serena because Serena's a girl. I heard you say that. You never that. said that. <laughs> I never said that. You said that. You said that. Let's go. Let's go. That's brand? why I have Is responded to you that way. Okay. Let's move forward. I never, I'm the one yeah, who selected forward. Serena over Let, Tigers. Let's, so move, let's move forward. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the next round now. Next round, Serena advances, which is by the way, eliminates. See, the I could have also, I could have also wait. I could have I could have also thrown something else. Good about I could have also thrown something else in the Tiger Woods argument that what? Tiger Woods was number one in the world for 10 years. Hmm. I gotta find out Serena's stats. I gotta know how long yeah, she's Serena might have been number one for a long time, but I don't know if not, it was not 10, 10 years. years. Not 10 years. Know, oh, was Serena number one. Were we going to move on? By 319 weeks. Okay, we're well, moving on, moving on, moving on, 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 on. Yes. 319 Le weeks? That's Le six LeBron years. James. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It ain't 10. Nine. It ain't 10. It ain't 10. Yeah, yeah. That's quick math Here. on this one. But she's number one in our hearts. Yes. And uh, she's number one moving on. That booty, though. Uh, LeBron versus <laughs> Usain Bolt. LeBron James versus Usain Bolt. Bolt. <laughs> You have to say with the bolt. bolt. All right. This is rough. This is rough because by our theory, it would be you saying. But right. consistency. Why, though? Why? By because our theory? we think he's the best basketball player. We think he's the best runner. And then when we're talking about one of the arguments. One is individual, up, the other one. But basketball is the one sport where one guy. Hey, he naturally dominated. I game. saw this guy bring Matthew Delavadova to the championship. I did. That was one guy. I saw a guy bring Eric Snow. Eric Daniel Snow. Marshall. Zadrunis and a man, Let me tell you this. There's many hey. nicknames. But no man should have a nickname. Booby? Booby. Yeah. Booby? Um, I was wrong. Why? Tiger Woods was number one in the world for a total of 13 years. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's add another. <laughs> let's add another 156. You should have brought this. <laughs> let's add another 156 weeks. Why don't you? I wish I would have known Jeez. this, Brian. Well, it was done is done. You know, yep. he had a tiger. So we go you say you saying both versus yeah, all right. Keep it I'm going, I'm LeBron. going, I'm going LeBron for this reason. LeBron does Olympics as well. Le LeBron's Jamaican, impact making community. LeBron LeBron's community. impact on his sport was greater than Usain Bolt's on his. Yeah, that's true. That's true. People still run the same. No one's like, I gotta do the Man, two decades is so hard. It it is, like, I know, I know. Decades I know. of being like being, being the not face. in here. It's not. It's not. He's in his twentieth year. He coming off the bench for twenty minutes. It's yeah. not even. It's not even what Jordan was when he went to Washington. Nope. No, he's actually scoring more points in his wow. later right. in his career. Right. Than he ever right. Right. Actually, I'm. I'm going LeBron because this. What we are witnessing right now. We're all you witnesses. have never witnessed in his sport. Ever. Mm -mm. Because before you saying both, we were saying the same stuff about Carl Lewis. Oh, right? Carl Lewis. As long as he doesn't sing a national anthem. Who, who else? Who else can you compare what LeBron is doing 
in this sport. Name another player that's been this productive for this long. He stands, he stands alone. Not even. But not even, no. Not even. He stands not alone. Even. Dude, does everybody <laughs> wait? You remember Shaq's exit? Messi's been around for a long time. Wait, it's not 20 not years of this. So, you like, remember, you remember long... Shaq's exit? You remember Kobe's all exit? the greats exit. We, we right. all remember the greats exits. It's never that like that's why when greats retire and we know they're retiring early because they don't want to go out the way the pre others have gone out. That's why right. Elway, when Elway retired. Elway didn't want to go out like the other quarterbacks. Right. Because you kind of always have that lasting image. I, like, I guess one of the most iconic sports pictures ever is seeing Jackie, not Jackie Robinson, Willie Mays sliding right. into second base in like 19, I believe what, uh, it was like, I, I don't know, it was a Mets. He was playing for the Mets at the time. And he said, it's like, and it just, you just saw him. He, he wasn't the same player. Like the Willie Mays you knew. Yeah. That wasn't him. And you don't want to see your greats look like a shell of themselves. I mean, it's a second. Jesus. But I we know. haven't seen LeBron Back. yet. You've Pick never seen him. We I'm don't. And we don't. So then it has to be them. LeBron James over LeBron. Usain Bolt. It's always. And it's because of the consistency. And I, I don't want right. to take shots at. at um at uh Because I know they run. They run. They have their world track championships. Yeah, and they stuff run like a that. lot of races. They're a lot more races they do, than the yeah. Olympics. They do, they do run a lot of races. But. 82 games. I mean, you can and then Olympic. And then you and you can always etch him in. He's playing till late May, early June. Right. Always. Just think of Every how many games. Year. Think of how many games he's played when you include the run of 10 straight finals. When you include all the playoffs he's been to. Wait, how many has he only not been in the playoffs twice? No, uh five, maybe four times in his career. Because it was 03. Oh, yeah. His first three years in Cleveland, he didn't go to the playoffs. Okay, first three years. Okay. So four first, years total because yeah. he one time with the Lakers, right? And yeah. is it one time with the Lakers? I, I believe it was, so. It was one time with the Lakers. I think it was one time with the Lakers. So, no, no, two times with the Lakers. Two times. Two times with the Lakers. So five yeah, times year, Five yeah. times in 21 years. Go. I'll wait. I'll wait. LeBron. Dude, he's, only, he's only missed 20% of his. He's only missed the playoff 20% of the player. Of his so, career, and he's been in the play. He's been in the finals half his career, right? So LeBron advances. It's Brian. It's Brian. It's Brian. LeBron advances, and that brings us to the final: Serena Williams versus LeBron James for Goat of Goats. Jay Fig, I'm going to start with your vote. Wow. Why? You want me to go first? Ready? You want yeah, me Leroy, to go first? Leroy, Leroy, Leroy. Let me get it. Let me get it. What you got? For reasons we have explained throughout this whole bracket. Yes. Serena has been doing it for a long time. But you can even see with Serena at year 20, after having a baby and all mm. these things, her skills have diminished. Wow, okay. so you hate women. That's crazy. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm just saying life. This is why I didn't Dude, want to go first no. either, by the way. This is why I'm saying life, life. has caught up to Serena. It don't make her any less great. Hmm. But when you think of a man that to this day, a franchise is depending on him for victories after his 20th year, right? Yes, I can't. I can't go against that. So I'm going. All LeBron. right, LeBron James for Leroy Horde. Vlad, who you got? I've been championing Serena throughout. Yes, else? you have. You I have. have over Tiger Woods, which we was shocking, right? I and, and I've and I've gotten. Her, I got her to the fun. I've helped her. Yes, reach the fun. Just you go did. ahead and say it, Vlad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Such, yeah. You see? Ahead. You see? What you got? You're Very sugarcoating emotional. it. It's yeah. emotional. Oh, are you sugarcoating I'm it? Not sugarcoating. Not it's Bron. Oh, it's Bron with because, a twist. But no, it's Bron because how is that a twist? You lied to you us. Literally said I brought her <laughs> to the finals. Okay, I got her to the altar, and then and then you. I just can't marry her. Just like and a then man. he just said, Sorry, I can't. just can't marry her just because just like you know, a man. Just just to you know get Jay Fig upset. Don't kill my bird. But here's the thing. Watch out. Twenty-one years of this man. Twenty-one. 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 21, can you do something for me? Yeah. Right. Like, that's, and they, just his presence alone is is still needed mm. in the sport. Mm. 
Serena's presence is needed. Yes. But they can't they they're looking. They have they had Naomi, they had Coco, they have Coco Golf. You see that. They're still looking for the next face of the NBA right now that they can once he finally leaves the league, they can mark, you know, they they could start marketing. He's still the most marketable player in the league. He might be the most marketable play, athlete still in the world. I got to go with the kid from Akron. The Akron Hammer. I'm not an EEO. You don't like that one? No. That's fair. No. Jay Fig. What's your choice, Marcos? He's the host. He can't, he can't predict. He can't Oyster, bro. I don't. <laughs> but, then I, but what if I go ahead and I choose Serena? Yeah. So then what's, Nobody's what's gonna happen? be mad at you. Why do you he's think? The right. You so still, you still lost. It's too so, I think it's Serena that, also now, dude. You know what? Serena had uh 20, 23. What are they called? Wimbledon Majors. 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 Have on someone side. Her Wimbledons are so powerful. Nah, it's got to be LeBron. I'm sorry. It's got to be LeBron. Okay, so then either way, it doesn't matter what I say. It always matters what you say, J Fig, because we love No, Marcos. You. Heard. With that being said, so, though, can we all? So is everybody in, okay with this? Everyone except for Brendan Tobin, who is somewhere thinking, what the hell just happened on my show? Oh, today? you know, you know who he thinks is the, the goat of goats. Yeah, well, Dwayne Wade wasn't on the list. No, it's not even Dwayne Wade. Who's that? It's Goran. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I'm gonna go on here, okay? <laughs> I'm Goron. taking him to the altar. It's Goron. That's his goat. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a wonderful spring break edition of the Tobin and Leroy show. When we come back, Tommy Tig will sit down with us to discuss the Miami Heat. Following a heartbreaking loss in Philadelphia, we and got that how much, much of a fraud? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you're about oh, to hear. I don't think so. The we, quickest we Marcos being that? a fraud over again. What? Yes. Yes. No, I didn't take that out. We didn't delete that. <laughs> no, we didn't delete that. All right. Well, potentially, I may or may not have lied. Find out more when we come back. Two a.m.